Let's play. You two can see the screen, yes? We're good? Yes. I'll yep. just do the controls because sure. I'm no dumb. I dumbed. sure can. Really can. Okay, play. So this one's a little bit different than the previous Monster Prom and uh, Monster Camp. This one is all about being big old goofs together on a road trip. However, there is a version where we can work against each other and try to make someone the MVP of the road trip and just be big old pranksters. But I feel like the way we should play is just the normal, like this is like, you know, we're best friends, we're on a road trip and there's no MVP or fail, whatever. This is the way you're supposed to play. Actually, this is probably the way you're supposed to play, but this one is for us, I think. Mm -hmm. Unless I you want to change it, Dukes. Unless you want to switch it up. Me? Why me? I don't know. I'm just asking. Road tripper. Okay. Yeah. Defin okay. Definitely not friend hugger. Yeah. Um. So we have higher do resources. No. What do you want? Go normal. Do? Straight down. Normal. Straight down the middle. Come on. Don't don't make it easy for us. Make it make it normal for us. Uh, All right, narrator. Do, you, want, uh -huh. you want me to do the thing? You got to do the thing. I mean, I don't know if you wanted to switch it up. Maybe you no, wanted no, to no, do no, it. no, 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 no. You gotta do a thing. <clears throat> ah, the road. That mythical beast of asphalt. We once tamed it in what became one of the strangest, most wonderful journeys of our lives. Back then, we were young and unafraid. Summer was coming to an end when Polly and Scott planned a road trip. The whole thing was bound to go off rails. This was the prank masters, after all. Wow, we're just openly, openly calling them out. With a Z. With a Z. Scott Howell, 21, a werewolf athlete who compensated for his rather small brain with a stupidly huge heart. And Polly Geist, 22, a party ghost with an insatiable hunger for all the wrong things. Someone in chat said, Olmec, is that you? Octo, will you mention the purple parrots and the blue jaguars or whatever? Just whenever you feel like it. Ahem. The choice is yours and yours alone. <laughs> that's that's, blue that, that's like the one does. Red jaguars, orange iguanas, <laughs> purple parrots, silver snakes. Silver snakes. <laughs> uh -huh. Am I forgetting one? Orange iguanas. Move to the steps of knowledge where each of them were <laughs> by themselves an agent of chaos. Yeah, yeah. Now now I'm like becoming more Olmec. Yeah, I love it. Unintentionally. But together. Together they were the perfect combo for hijinks to ensue. Who in their right mind would have agreed to join them on such a trip? Hey, Great who question. Who are you? All right. Um, right. I'll let you two go first and pick. Okay. I mean, I gotta be Oz, because that's me. Okay. Look at that. Are you sure you don't want to be any of the new ones? I mean, they're, cu they're cute, but me specifically, I want to be Oz. Okay. Boom. And then my name will be... How many care? What's my character limit here? I don't like this. I don't what's like my this. character limit? <laughs> I want to be, uh, I want to be butts from Gerzerk. Is there enough room for that? <laughs> With a Z? No, B U B U T S space from and then Gerzerk. <laughs> G Gerzerk. No, butts it's from not G. Long. Okay. Hold on, okay. hold on, hold on. Maybe we can do butts, butts from G. <laughs> butts from, from G. Gers, Gers, or... Butts from Gers. That's what I am. <laughs> butts from Gers. Okay, okay. It's butts from Gers. All right. You good with this? I'm good with that. Okay. Let's hope this road isn't too bumpy. I that, that was guy. me. <laughs> I, I know that it. guy. Yeah. All right, Dukes. Who do you want to be? God. Do you know? Am I going to? You there gotta are... be the little moth. We have that's like Juan you, the character. And I know. Glitch, am I... Zoe and also yeah. Hazel. Am I? I. It's it's a toss up between ripped cat and that Oyasumi Poon Poon motherfucker. Oh yeah, glitch. Yeah, that is very yeah. Oyasumi Poon Poon, isn't it? Um, we'll go ripped cat. Damn. That's good. Juan. Should I change your name? name you? No, absolutely not. Should I change anything here? Hmm. What are the pronoun options in this game? 
He, she, they. Make me a they. Done. All right. Absolutely. Let's go. The cat with the hat. Okay, and I, even though I am a Vicky Stan, man, I want to go Hazel, but I also love Glitch. All right, I'm going to go Hazel because I love Hazel's voice. Hazel's so cute. Yes. Do it. All right. Uh, I talk Rob. I'm going to, you know what? Cinnamon! <gasps> oh, cute. Perfect. Cinnamon. Okay, and go. Listen, listen to this voice. It's my favorite voice in this game. I, I'm right. angered. I'm angered how soothing this voice. It's like ASMR times a million. <clears throat> a road trip to relax slash study to. Oh, makes me so mad. Sweet voice. Right? It's so, so All right, cute. so hey, we got tunes for our trip this time. <gasps> so we want the Desert Vibes, which is playing right now, but we can also do... Ooh. Ooh. I love the I love the subtle crab rave notes of this one. <laughs> we can also do lo-fi beats. I mean, I know what I'm about. I'm I'm a surf rock boy. But also, that's the classic though. I'm I'm a surf rock boy. That's me. But I'll I'll do whatever. What do you think of dudes? Mm, my vote is tropical rave. I do like Ooh. tropical rave as well. That's also something I haven't heard yet. I love that there's different music options. Me I too. say. Uh, tropical rave. I'm gonna go tropical. Let's go rave. tropical rave. Yeah, I, I know what I'm beat. Was the road trip a dangerous idea? Yes. Was it poorly planned? Yes. Did we do it anyway? Fuck yes. For in the end, we were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start our engines. Vroom, vroom, baby. Vroom, vroom. Hello! Starting now, there will be more to the destinations. Every oh. destination has two extra layers you can unlock. Yeah, so I unlocked some stuff before we played just to make sure oh, okay, that we okay. could have okay. access to more stuff, you know? Sure. You can check all of the layer requirements in the destination guide whenever you want. Click on the destination tab on the right or press E on the keyboard or left bumper on the controller. You must fulfill the requirements of a layer and then reach its destination if you want to unlock it. It adds some cool extra stuff to the ending. This has so much to it. Oh, it's yeah. a don't, challenge don't, with a bigger Don't worry, there's a lot, yeah. There's so much content here. Okay. Sure thing. Hold on, really quickly. So you can see up here. Oh this my is, gosh, who is that? What a cute voice. I know. This is uh, <laughs> us, collectively. Remember, okay. the objective is right. not to hit zero on anything. <laughs> Right. Okay. Also, there Whoa. are wonderful endings that Ooh. you can get. So, uh, just to like get us some new stuff, I got the mermaid ending, the Mer Kingdom ending, where we went and had a fancy banquet in a previous game. Mm. But this is money, right? So I got money to twenty-five, and we unlocked this. And this is like, oh, there's bonus things you can do there now. So oh, these are oh, some cool. of the things. So if we want to end up with like twenty-five magic, that can be the end of our road trip, like that kind of thing. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, this is so cool. This is this is not just Monster Prom with like road trip flavor. This is a completely new game. It is. I think it it is uh, a great sign of what everyone on the dev team has not only learned over the years, but like it shows how they've improved over time. And it's yeah, it really is like That's pretty awesome. stellar. So yeah. That's so cool. Um Okay, uh, what's that motel? What's the motel about? Fancy motel. Fancy motel. And then you have a guess. pet contest. Uh, just a reminder, uh -huh. these things here, like this, will tell you one of the options will definitely give us hype. Okay. But everything else is okay. unknown to us. So here, everything okay. is unknown. We don't know a Let's damn go. thing about the fancy motel. I'm driving to the unknown, baby. That's where we're going. Oh, fancy yeah. motel? Into yeah, the fancy unknown. motel. Uh oh. Who, la la. Who? Someone's feeling too fancy. Yes. All right. There she is. Where do you stay when you're too cheap for a real hotel, but too fussy for a regular motel? Here, apparently. Ooh, la la. This place is full of class, charm, and poise. Three things you've always lacked. Which means tonight is the perfect night to cosplay as a rich, fancy person. Oh what my god. What do you do? Uh, ooh, prank call the front desk. Visit the bar, explore the amenities. Um. So remind me, the the yellow symbol that's on each of these means 
every single one of these will decrease something, but also increase something. Yes, yeah. and we have no clue what it will be. Uh, we can try to decipher it through the text, but we have no mm. open clue what it is. Right. Let's okay. explore the amenities. Okay, sounds good. Jesse. Mm. Oh boy, is this me? Okay. It's always you. <laughs> amenities, woohoo! Cut to a montage of you all enjoying the amenities. Free towels, jacuzzi, buffet, jacuzzi in the buffet, buffet of free towels, many more combinations of the three. Scott, butts from girls, look, I love free towels, buffets, and jacuzzis as much as the next gal, but I feel like this bit has overstayed its welcome. I say we look for something new amenity-wise. Let's do it. More amenities. Woohoo! And so you head to the front desk. <clears throat> oh my God, who is this? That's you, for sure. Certainly okay. not someone who crawls out of a TV, for sure. Amenities, you say? Have you already tried the buffet of free towels? It's an all-time favorite. Uh, yeah, I've been there, done that. So, like, come on, give me the goodies. I'm sure you have, like, super special amenities, only for uh, exclusive clients. There's no such thing, ma'am. We offer a wide array of amenities, equal to all clients. <laughs> yeah, sure, sure, sure. Yeah, okay, I hear you. But um, um, seriously, like, tell us about the secret, exclusive, super special amenities. Oh, wink, wink. Ma'am, I'm telling you the truth. There are only amenities you see, and that won't change no matter how many times you ask for it. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Uh, come on. Give me the secret exclusive super special amenities. Uh, gimme, gimme. Uh. Well, fancy motels rule state we can only show the secret exclusive super special amenities if you ask three times. So here you go. Secret exclusive super special amenities. Woohoo! Noise. You check your options here. Uh oh, Ooh, here you pillage go. Pillage other guests' rooms. Or oh my God. undergo initiation rights to join the fancy motel exclusive member cult. Oh, I'm gonna well, there's make... an obvious option here. Yeah, I'm going to make the assumption cool. for you that this one lowers your soul, maybe. And this okay. one probably lowers your mind. I'm going to guess. Oh, surely the cult lowers your soul. Or maybe it makes it stronger. <laughs> yeah, because well, I think this time. one will probably raise your money, lower uh -huh. your soul. Okay. And this one will probably raise, I don't know what, ma raise your magic, magic, maybe? Yeah. And then lower your mind, I think, just because cult. it's cult. 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 All right. All right. Cult. 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 All right. Meet in conference room 2 p.m. Oh, my <laughs> God. The face. Bring a cloak and a credit card. Oh, this? It's fine. This is, this is, this is fine. I'm sure it's fine. And a credit card. <laughs> you return late that night with your most cultish attire. You... You pay minus. I've got like three voices going on there. You pay <laughs> minus two money in membership fees. Welcome, new recruits. First, we must prostrate ourselves <laughs> before the motel mighty and give a sacrifice to keep it ancient, more appeased. I is this a mask that they're is this a mask that they're wearing? Or I guess. Is, yeah, it's like one of those masks that comes in like a little baggie, right? And Me you open it up it and you is. yeah. Sure. Uh. Brother Raul of room 223, you brought us a worthy sacrifice, right? Yep, this is the this is the Chuck from room 224 who wouldn't turn down his true crime dramas and kept me awake all night. Sacrifice his ass! <laughs> the tacky abstract design in the tile floor opens its mouth and speaks! Farewell, Charles of room 224! Tremble before your overnight god! Who shall complete... The sacrifice, the sacred sacrifice. I'm not allowed to get blood on my uniform. We've got a kid's birthday party after this. Whoa, that's terrifying. It's good. It's that's very cute. Time. Yeah, like I'll do it. I'm not usually into assassinations, but <laughs> vacation's all about trying new things, right? Polly slits Chuck's throat and shoves his body in the motel god's mouth. She's such a team player. Hmm. Not yet appeased, says the mighty motel. The motel mighty. Want dessert. Dessert in the form of whelp reviews. Need good whelp reviews. Damn, Polly just killed this dude. I know. Let's see, butts from Gertz left five stars. Polly left five stars. Scott left 4.8 stars. Hey. 
I want to leave a five, but coach taught me that there's always room for improvement. True. I'm satisfied. Remember, peons, if you invite three new cult members with your referral code, you get a free two-night stay. Now dance and make merry. Let the all-you-can-eat buffet of flesh begin. You dance, pray, and do other fun cult-related activities, winky face. Uh, magic up. Oh, magic up. The Motel Mighty is appeased and blesses you with a trial membership to plus two magic. Your turn. All right. <sighs> One. It's me. You have a oh. hole that looks like we'll get uh, magic, magic and money and something. Okay. Or okay. an animal sanctuary with uh, stamina and something. Animal sanctuary. Damn, animal sanctuary. So it's animal a place sanctuary. for all things furry, like me. That place, bathrooms even had free candy. Uh, yeah, those were decorative soaps, honey. Still delicious. Welcome to the Animal Sanctuary. It even has a petting zoo. There are dogs, cats, goats, bunnies, alpacas, ducklings. Floating zoo. It warms your heart to see so many animals being loved and cared for. Surrounded by all this wholesomeness and fur, what do you want to do? Pet the animals, volunteer with the rescued animals, or do a cat cafe. Oh, but we already know what the cat cafe does. Do we? Hmm. Well, it, there's a little there's a little face at the bottom. Sure, we'll definitely get you'll, that. You'll always gain stamina. Yep. Hmm. If we volunteer, maybe we get soul. But what do we lose? Our know. minds. <laughs> stamina, maybe. I don't um, know. God, I'm a cat, so the temptation to do the cat cafe. It would be pretty so funny. Strong. All right, yeah, let's do it. Cat going to a cat cafe? Crazy. I know. Very weird. What's better? That's some than goofy coffee? Pluto shit. Yeah, seriously. What's better than coffee and cute cats? You step into the cafe and see your friend Faith manning the register. Who wants to do Faith? Who wants to be Faith? I'll be Faith. Um, <clears throat> go for it. Welcome to the cat cafe, guys. What brings you in today? <laughs> you would work at a cat cafe. Uh, I had to come see my favorite witch. <laughs> also, we've been on the road for hours, and if I don't get some caffeine in me, I will literally die. Polly, it's impossible for you to literally die if you're already dead. Liberal Whatever. use of the word literally destroys its true meaning. Mama likes Um, I love it when you talk nerdy to me, boo. <laughs> thanks. And thanks for coming in and supporting the cafe. The cats here really love the attention and playtime. Nice. That's good, because I've got a pussy here that could use some playtime. Behold! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Polly, no! <laughs> Polly. Polly holds up a cat she befriended in the cafe! <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, but for real, I was talking about my vagina in case that wasn't clear. Oh my god! Polly! <laughs> Polly, what? I'm working now. Mm -hmm. My shift ends in a few hours, though. I can text you then. For now, can I get you guys anything to drink? Yes, please. You didn't come here just so Polly could flirt. Well, what did you order? Uh oh. <gasps> oh. Cat coffee. Can I hold on? Can I can I give another compliment to this wonderful game that? we've all had a, a hand in at some point. Um, the art assets for like every aspect of this game are phenomenal. Like- So I, good. I cannot stress to you, again, Octo, the thing I told you about earlier, if we find yeah. it, when you talk about yes. art assets, it is one of the yes. coolest. I'm gonna shut up. I'm just gonna say thank you. Okay. The team mm -hmm. busted their butt on this and they're all amazing. Mm -hmm. And all the artists involved with this game are the best. But hey, do you want a coffee made for cats? Yes. Made by cats or made of cats? Made for cats. I'm a cat. Oh, you, oh you're right. That checks out. That yeah, coffee made for yum, cats. Yum, yum. Gross. Whoa. That's a weird looking coffee. Why does it seem so ominous? Cats like their coffee hyper black. It goes well with their grumpy, skittish, aloof souls. <laughs> I mean, Vanta have you coffee. ever seen a cat get random zoomies at 3 a.m.? Where do you think all that energy comes from? 
drinking coffee. Well, coffee for cats just became coffee for Juan. You'll take a cup, which is also a cat. Are you sure, Juan? This is coffee for cats for a reason. He's a cat. I'm a cat. I'm a cat. Yeah, fuck it. You chose this option. Knowing the potential danger of your actions won't stop you now. I'm a cat. Give me the zoomies, dude. You drink the coffee for cats and gain plus two stamina. Yo. It wasn't so strong. Faith worried you for nothing. You blink and suddenly you're in the middle of the desert. <laughs> your clothes are torn and sweaty and your heart is racing. The hell? Uh. There you are, Juan. Thank goodness we got up to you. We've been driving after you for half an hour. You've been chasing you in the car and you were outpacing them? How? Zoom in. Has got to be that coffee. You're more wired than an electronics store. I tried to warn you, moron. A shot of cat coffee is worse for your blood pressure than a hit of cocaine. Cat cane. You can barely hear them over the sound of your pulse. Your soul is under siege by the caffeine. Your body wasn't made to handle this much hyper. You're a cat! Are you going to die? Cat Hopefully not. But at the very least, you're losing minus two mind. Head on the wheel, eyes on the road. <laughs> okay, rave in the desert or regular motel. <laughs> Where do you... I'll let you two decide since I kind of know what both does what. Oh, you decide. All right, well, if we're going to... What is this? Soul? Soul's at 10. I'm going to try and keep us alive as long as I humanly can. Boo. Stamina. <laughs> Or I buff our stamina to the point. I think it would also be funny to go to a fancy motel and then a regular motel, but that's me. Yeah, same. Okay. The ghost rests. I would like you guys to know that we did that that whole like cat cocaine bit, and both of my cats showed up immediately. <laughs> They're like, I mean, yo, you got cat cocaine, man? Hey, you got some cat cocaine in here? <laughs> you got cat cocaine in here? Uh, <laughs> After a long, exhausting day of sitting in a car, you're ready to turn in for the night. Ugh, Time to choose best. which mundane activity you do before going to sleep. Surely Polly and Scott will find a way to make it weird. Mm. Watch some TV. Oh, I like this one. Okay. So basically, we'll get three options and they will increasingly determine how much we get or lose of a thing. So that, if we go with that, that, yeah. that, that. You claim your mattress and start preparing to go to bed. As you're deciding which of your onesies to make you look the most fuckable, you hear Scott and Polly <laughs> giggling in the bathroom. You go to investigate. Hiya! Hey there, Cinnamon. Scott and I are gonna do our nightly skincare routine. Do you wanna join us? Oh! She's got a voice! Uh, it's here. Who it's is that gonna be? It's, it's your character. Be. I it's you, right? Oh, Jesus. Oh, surely. No <laughs> <laughs> voice about these two doing a normal activity for once. You seem to step aside uh, to reveal a fleshy, undulating pile of skin in the sink. What? What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's our skin, silly. Heard that skincare is really important, but Polly doesn't have skin of her own anymore. So I got her this little guy to take care of, uh, guy to care for. Yeah, I named it Rodriguez. Okay, but where did Scott even get this eldritch skin abomination? Boo, you ask way too many questions. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wink. And questions are not part of a good skincare routine. Wink. So... Like, are you going to help us rub lotion on Rodriguez or not? Despite not having eyes, the skin is somehow staring at you. Maybe even through you. Nope. Nope. You did not sign up for this. Well, actually, you did sign up for this. Moisturizing Rodriguez is in your road trip contract. Oh, you signed a contract? Ugh. Ugh. Damn be the day you signed that contract on a dare. It looks like you're stuck rubbing lotion on this creature. How long can you stand to do it? Five minutes oh, is low. Oh my god. One hour all, all night, night. All night. All, all night. All night. All night. <laughs> Thank you. Let's do it. Fuck it. If you're doing this, you're doing this. You start <laughs> vigorously rubbing the lotion on, into the warm, wiggly skin. Minutes become hours. You're up to your elbows and detached skin. You run out of lotion and begin moisturizing Rodriguez with your own blood. Uh. 
The skin appreciates the blood sacrifice. You begin seeing things like choruses of angels singing in forbidden tongues surrounded by a cascade of unrecognizable colors. Oh, we're gonna lose some mind here. Your mind expands. Skin is the biggest organ in the body. Skin is everywhere. The entirety of the world is covered in a fine layer of skin. At one point, God appears to you and says, Thank you, Cinnamon, for caring so much for my creatures, even the ugly, disturbing ones I made when I was drunk. The skin is love. The skin is life. You care for the skin, and the skin will care for you forever. This is so fun. <laughs> oh my god. Hey! Good morning, Cinnamon! Still taking care of Rodriguez? That's cool. Do you <laughs> mind if I take a morning poop while you're at it? Go ahead. It matters not. There's no privacy. We are all we are all be connected by the skin. I love I love that. Oh no! You lost minus three mind doing this all night, but you gained plus one hype from your friend's approval and plus one soul because you've done a good deed today, or so you think. You also gained plus one magic from meeting God during the skincare session, or at least from tripping so badly you believe you did. The skin okay. always provides. We gotta watch our mind here. We gotta the watch our mind provides. now. Provides. The skin provides. <laughs> okay. We have uh, got one amazing shopping mall uh -huh. and one dynast. What is that? Is that soul? Yes, this is soul. Plus soul. And this one is plus stamina and the others stamina. are mystery. Yeah. Interesting. I think shopping mall. Okay. Oh my god, do you guys want to go to the mall? Polly, why Let's is there a shopping mall in the middle of a desert? Um, only God knows, God. I just talked to God. Wait, no, that was that was Hazel. Yeah. The shopping Cinnamon mall. Cinnamon talked to God, silly. Yeah. <laughs> the shopping mall, it's a place where you can start sort of shop online, but like offline. You can feel young again by reviving good old ways of having fun at the mall. Ooh. How do you dude? Arcade. Let's go. Wait, this is me, right? Yeah. Uh, let's, uh... The yeah, arcade's lift. probably good for our minds, right? Yeah, let's shoplift. Okay. Yeah. As you're searching for the best store to steal from, you see your friend Valerie sitting out in the center fountain and texting. She looks up and smiles at you. Hey, strangers, what are you guys doing at the mall? We aren't shoplifting! Huh. Smooth, Scott. Uh, don't worry. I won't rat on you. I'm also a big fan of shoplifting. Oh, I love that face. She would be. It's cheap, it's thrilling, and you get to stick it to the man. Right? Uh, what? The man? What man? Why is he so stinky? Uh... Uh, never mind. You guys are newbies at shoplifting, I'm guessing, so maybe I can help. <laughs> Half the work is not getting nervous. You just, like, vibe, and then nobody really suspects you. Try whistling a jaunty tune and just shove shit in your pockets. Also, don't look suspicious. Avoid using fake mustaches. They're, I mean, they're great for white-collar crime, but they don't work for shoplifting. Bro. Uh, uh, uh. If you get caught, just pretend to be a time traveler from medieval times who still, you know, like, doesn't understand the concept of paper money or malls. It works every time. Valerie's got great tips. The only thing left to do is decide what you're going to steal. What'll it be? The whole store! Here you go. Uh, uh, steal your manager's identity! <laughs> you stole hearts back in your prom days. It's time to shoplift some hearts. Steal the security cameras. It will pave the way for future shoplifting. Plus, the security cam is the only thing that the security cam itself cannot watch. That's also true. Steal the store manager's identity. It's one simple theft that will automatically make everything in the store yours. Boom, baby. We're stealing. Identity theft is not a joke, but boy, is it funny here. <laughs> With worryingly little effort, you steal the manager's identity. You start taking all the stuff you want, but then the real manager and the cops show up. What are you assholes doing, the manager demands. You're going straight to jail for robbing my store. Oh, fun story, actually. This is our store. Check it out. <laughs> yeah, here's an ID and a deed to the store I made out to Mario McManager, which uh, is my friend here. What are you saying? I'm Mario McManager, the manager yells. Wow, he had his like life set up for him when he was born. <laughs> yeah, like no that. joke. Yeah. Are you though? Do you have an ID to prove it? Yes. Oh, I... I thought you were a good boy. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I, I can't find it. But look at my face. That's obviously my face on your ID. You you stole my identity. I mean, that can be explained because see, Mario McManager here isn't really a manager. That's his cover story. Yeah, he's actually an undercover cop trying to catch butts from Gers, leader of the most notorious shoplifting clan in the world. Mm. After several failed arrest attempts, the FBI decided to surgically reconstruct McManager's face to look like butts from Gers so he could dismantle the clan from the inside. <gasps> but butts from Gers caught wind of the plan, so the scoundrel got his own face reconstructed to look like McManager's to escape arrest. This seems like it'd be a good movie, I'll be honest. Yeah. <laughs> Look, we know your butts from Gers in disguise. Officers, arrest him before he escapes and keeps ripping off the plot of Face Off. <laughs> wow, says one of the cops. Do you think they're telling the truth, Chief? They have to be, says the Chief. <laughs> when people lie, it's never this elaborate. McManager, I mean, butts from Gers, you're going to jail. A real manager is arrested, and you get to keep all his products. You make plus two money selling some of it, and plus one hype throwing the rest in a bonfire and for the lols. What, what did we do? But what what did we, we lose? <laughs> Minus two soap. That's not bad. Oh. that. For ruining this man's life. And Val- Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> no. Oh, no. <laughs> you lose minus one mind. Oh god. We're okay. We're okay. We're fine. It's fine. fine. Uh-oh. I'm just stopping and get some rest. Fine. Oh. We didn't rest this? at those two uh, hotels noodles, we went to. Noodles, 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 noodles. Take a short oh. ten hour power nap. Ten hour power nap. I like the sound of that. Um, what's off to the right? What's those three slots? What's that? The car. Just chilling in the car? Okay. Uh, I'm not gonna tell you. You gotta figure it out. I'll chill, I'll chill in the car, sure. Okay. And I am going to go to... Uh... Here. Okay, I need five the minutes. The desert is my home. <laughs> Welcome I'm to the oh, uh, Wait, sorry, this sorry. is me! This is actually me, by the way. I'm, I'm actually That's amazing. Noodles, and I want to see what lines they used for certain reactions because I gave them some weird ones. I want to see <laughs> Dodger's voice because that was a voice coming through and I need this. Wait, I you... don't need all these things, so let's settle for regular <laughs> price. <laughs> yes! Okay, okay, so what do we got? So you have these four things and you can pick one to trade for this. Something okay. Let's trade Scott snacks. Okay. For edible potato, one karma voucher, a bounty hunter contract, or a meme from the internet. New and improved multiplication table. Yeah. That's going to improve our mind. It's got to. It must. All right. You want to do it? Or will it? I don't know. What? I I want to help. Um, let's, let's do, let's do the multiplica the, the multiplication table, the improved multiplication table. Sure. Yes. Yes. Uh, I'm deciding. Hey, stamina Mind down. Up. That's good. Absolutely. Ooh, is Rachel and took that? I just set that out to make all my other products look better by comparison. But hey, not my fault. You're a sucker. No refunds. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right. What's oh. trip style? Ooh. Risky traveler, obviously. Okay. Good. Uh... Well, mine down. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh, hey, gosh. who do we want to pick up? So we have an effect. We gain one magic. Every turn, you'll gain one magic and lose one money. Or we gain one hype and lose one stamina. I'm biased, so I'm not gonna contribute to this conversation. Octo? Mm, what does Damien give us? One hype? Hype. So lose one money? We're lose stamina. Gain oh, money, lose... gain hype, lose stamina. I I think we're, what does is, what is, uh, Aravi give us? Magic one and lose magic. money. Hey, we're at 14, here's the thing, we're at 14. If we can get to 25 magic, that's good for us. We're good on money too, so let's go with uh, Aravi. Okay. You invite Aravi to join your road trip. I slay. She slays. 
Oh my god, who is that? I don't. Robbie don't, drank the party. I don't know, I don't know who is that. <laughs> I don't know who, who is oh, that. Oh, is that? Oh, wait. Wait. Oh, it's Can a. Oh that? my god, it's an actual line. That's what she's saying, because she's I forgot a that she's character. A, yes, I yeah. forgot. Jesus yeah. Christ. A Robbie joins the party. All right, here we go. Oh, okay. What is this? Just the order now. All right, so remember, we are currently leading in magic. We can get there. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just as long as mine doesn't hit zero and we lose. <laughs> so, yeah. focus on getting us mind. Okay. Or at least not getting to zero. Week two. Cats can't normally drown, but right. I am no normal cat. Art exhibit. I am no normal cat. Or cult headquarters. Oh, uh, this God. is magic. And so, this is all magic and money. We're going to take one. mind damage if we go there. I know we are. I know we but, are. But the magic. And I this one know. This is, is money and minus soul. So we know we'd lose soul here. We have plenty of soul. But like your call. I'll let you decide. But we're trying to get magic. Do you want to go to the cult headquarters? We're going to lose. We're going to lose mind. We're going to go crazy. Cult headquarters. Let's do it. <laughs> she says cult headquarters. We've been grinding this road forever. Normal people call that driving, Arabi. Are you really going to join a cult? We already oh, did. Let's join. I suppose everything. I suppose they got team building, all the dead goats you could ever want, maybe fun ritual orgies. If you can ignore all the murder and brainwash practices, it honestly sounds like fun. Where do you want to start? All right, so you probably want to focus on these two. <laughs> So, like, not the sacrifice, right? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, sacrifice could be mine, but it also could be soul. We have plenty I, of soul. I think initiation rights is probably going to take away from our money. Maybe. Mm. Which is fine. We've got 10 I think money. that's a better gamble. Yeah. Let's go with initiation rights. Yeah. Okay. You see signs advertising an open recruitment event for the cult. That sounds exactly like your brand of weird shit to check out. Glory, do you want me to be these guys? Sure. <laughs> Glory. Wait, can we do it at the same time? Yes. Uh -huh. Yes. Re ready, set, go. Glory, Glory to Mothra. Oh, welcome to the, to the Brotherhood New Recruits, where we worship the deity, uh, the deity of sacred secrecy and darkness. Darkness. Joining, Joining our, our congregation has lots of perks. Lots of You'll perks. get your own get clothes. Your own You're invited to cult sponsored dinners and networking yeah. events. Networking events. Events. And best, best of all, all Mothra's loyal, loyal followers, followers are given a taste given of a the taste immense of secret power secret it wields power over, our power over our universe. 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 Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh my god, fuck yeah, I'm in. Gimme the power! The cultists give you a soul-binding contract you have to sign in blood. So authentic. Oh. <laughs> Yay, oh, new cute. outfit! This will be the perfect look for when I'm blasting motherfuckers with Mothra's secret magic! Oops, Oops you, you must, must not have not read, read the fine print. Fine print. You can't print. access Mothra's power matter. until you're promoted, promoted to acolyte. So yeah. right now you're still unpaid, unpaid initiates. Unpaid. But don't worry. Don't you just have worry. to prove yourself to the dark don't deity do. at your yeah, performance your review. review Guys, come months. on. We're supposed to be I'm saying trying, this at the I'm same trying, time. I'm trying. Listen, I'm trying. I'm, I'm the one guy who's always in the back here. who's like, six months. <laughs> meow, 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 meow. Yeah. For now, here's, For now, here's a shovel. shovel. The goat yeah. pens need to be cleaned. Clean. Have, Have fun. fun. Glory, Glory to Mothra. Over the next few days, you're tasked with cleaning goat pens, getting coffee, washing the cloaks. Who knew being a dark magic worshipping cultist would involve so much drudgery? I think this might be minus <gasps> stamina. I think it might be stamina too. <laughs> Guys, I cannot take it anymore. I'll be damned, literally, if I'm going to clean up one more goat turd. Forget the performance review. There has got to be a way to get our power over all things secret and hidden right now. Ooh. Ooh, sweeten the cultist's heart by bringing them the best coffee ever using your trademark secret blend. Shh. Don't give in to the temptation of cult gossiping. Show your co-worshippers you really know how to keep a secret. 
Uh, I feel like the trademark secret blend is going to kill them. Oh, this is your call. Juan. I know. I'm. I'm gonna go ahead and lean into my thing. Yeah, let's make them a coffee. A spiked next, coffee. Ooh, for the next few days, you serve the brothers your special blend. Then, with no warning, you switch back to the regular stuff. Tui. Uh, what, what is, what is this shit? shit? Where's, Where's your, your special, special blend? One. Shit. Hey, man, one secret ingredient ain't cheap. We'll need to start charging you if you want their special blend. That's, That's ridiculous. ridiculous. Just tell us what the secret ingredient yeah. is and quit trying to I rake know. us over the coals. Coals! Not cool! But that disobeyed Mothra's rules of sacred secrecy. Not cool, bro! Uh, <sighs> how dare you hold oh, us to our own damn. religious, religious standards. standards? Religious Fine. How, how much, much for a cup? A uh, cup! Cha-ching! Soon enough, your coffee is so popular, you decide to open a business! With a Z! Welcome to the Brewmasters with a Z Coffee! <clears throat> the only coffee shop endorsed by Mother herself! We'll, we'll take, take three one sacredly, sacredly secret, secret brews, brews please. please. Please? Can do! That'll cost plus two magic of Mother's sacred power! Uh, have a darkly blessed day! Is that the last of them? Ugh, let's close. Who knew running a business took so much work? Do you ever think we'd be running our own coffee shop, Polly? It feels just like yesterday we were on that wacky road trip. <gasps> uh, I know, but it wasn't yesterday. It was like three days ago. Dang, do you ever miss those days? Having adventures, chasing our dreams wherever they took us? Oh. Yeah. Uh you know what? Fuck it. Let's ditch this place. I miss being on the road. And I miss having our own coffee to drink. Seriously, we've lost like two stamina worth of coffee selling it off. Yeah, okay, we're good. We're good. We're safe. That's on you for not calculating production costs. Oh well, you still fondly remember those lo-fi coffee shop days and all the magic you snubbed from those dumb cultists. Mm, driving is so relaxing. Um, I love driving is so relaxing. A spa? Ah. What will get us... Mind? Mind? Well, we could use that plus mind. Mm -hmm. Or a charming idea. <laughs> I'm sure this will be fun. I'm sure this place will be just lovely. There were absolutely mm -hmm. no atrocities ever just taking place. Oh my oh, god. Dancing around a maple. It'll be fine. Mm -hmm. Uh, Do we stick on were the mind train? Were maples a thing in your guys' schools? No. No, we didn't sacrifice humans. Never. No. Oh, I guess that's just an Oregon thing. Oh, wait, you had maples in your school? Yeah. <laughs> Dodger, now, did For anyone ever dress like a bear? Yeah, all right, I, I got so many questions. I, yeah. I also I also went to a Jewish day school, so it was much more sure that's um, organized around that. Yeah. Anyways, where should we go, Chief? Uh, Do we do we want to make sure we still have mind? And our mind I mean, is good? Yeah, do I don't want to go crazy. I like, want to finish yeah, this. Yeah. But it's your, but it's like your call. Don't buff up okay, our brains. I'm gonna, yeah, go I'm going to get it. our brain buffed. Don't feel... Yeah. All right, but where's Hex? Okay, bye. <laughs> you know, for a vacation, this road trip has been surprisingly stressful. A spa sounds like the perfect thing to help you relax before you get to your final destination. Oh, that's so cute. The question is, how do you want to chill out? Ah, yoga classes. That's yoga it. Yoga classes. Although, oh, no, no stats will be affected. No pressure. But we don't we want mind? But, we do want mind. Yeah, it's just like, that's yeah. fine. Okay. Yoga yeah. classes, go. Yeah. As you're browsing the different yoga classes that are available, you run into your friend Milo. Oh. Who was who was Milo. was it you was it you Agato? You're I'll doing do so many voices sure. so far. Yeah, I, don't, I don't mind. Hello, darlings. Are you joining a yoga class too? <laughs> yeah. Do you know if they have any expert level yoga classes, like one for someone who's oh uh, yoga high score is like over two thousand? Or, or maybe there's some sort of competitive yoga doing oh. team we can join. I'm so I'm so sorry. Can you give me like a pause for one second? I'm so no. sorry. 
I'm so sorry. I'll be right back. I'm <laughs> of sorry, course, of sorry, course. Sorry, 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 sorry for a second. Do you, question: Do you think his? Yeah. Uh, do you think there's a problem with his Sonic themed bath towel mat, or do you yes. think it has something to do with one of the weird things that he got put on his walls? That's like weird. Yo, I had a I had a, a phone call with Octo a couple of days ago, and he gave me the full tour of his apartment, and it's awesome. <laughs> it's, he has just like all the purely Octo pimp things all over the place, and it's amazing. Are you? So one of those things, yeah, something might have gone wrong with one of those. Things. <laughs> this is like when. Wait, were we friends when I used to have swords above my bed? <laughs> <laughs> um. When was this? <laughs> I'm pretty sure we were. I used to, I used to keep, I thought that it was really cool to like have all all of my swords. Uh, <laughs> well, of course you. Well, of course like, you did. Right, right on on mounted on the wall, like literally right above where my head was in bed. And it wasn't until somebody pointed it out, like, "Hey, that's dangerous." That I was like, "Oh, you know what?" That is dangerous in a state where there are frequent earthquakes. You, yeah, maybe I shouldn't that do that. In, that was in LA. Yeah. Was that at that the the house in Was that the Culver house? Yeah. No way. Is that true? Yeah. I yeah. must. I must have never once acknowledged that those. Because yes, obviously it's dangerous. I've seen uh the that one movie where death kills everyone. Sh sure. Final you know that, Destination. Final de the Final Destination movie where the guy's lifting weights and there's swords directly above his head for some reason. What? Have you never seen that one? There's a Final Destination. I've never seen any like of them. All right. Here's the thing. Final Destination 1 has a fun premise, but terrible okay, execution. Okay, I'm so sorry. Oh, hey. So hi. Sorry, hi. We're talking That's about okay. Final Destination the movie and how Dodger lived that life. <laughs> what? Dodger lived Final Destination. I didn't live Final Destination. She used to have swords above her bed and I've seen Final Destination. No. The one guy, he lifts weights and he dies that way. But none of the swords ever tried to kill me because it wasn't Yet. my final destination. Well, that's because you didn't die and live through it. Because final Des the here's the thing. Here's the problem. The final, destination final destination is about the people who are like running away from death, right? Yes, I know well, there's no death for me well, to run away from. It was about that. The first one started like that, but after, it, at a certain point, it just became like, let's make weird deaths the thing. Yeah, that was the whole thing, right? Well, the first right. one for like the first one, there's a brief moment where the water. Like, I think a dude dies in a shower because the water moves up and it's like, oh, death is trying to kill them. And after the first movie, they stopped doing that shit. It was, it's not a very good series. Oh. Anyway, okay. there's one guy literally should we in watch gym. all of them? We should. And more importantly, it'll, okay. you'll never Sorry. drive behind Continue. a truck with logs in it again. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep. Okay. That is permanently, every time I see a truck with logs in the road, I'm like, mm -mm, hell no. Not today, Satan. So mm -hmm. yeah, never again. Yep. Mm -hmm. But. If I ever lift weights in a gym, I'm going to do it as fast and as angry as possible so the swords hanging oh. above my head will fall and kill me. Yeah. No, there are no swords. There are no... There, that's that's not even a thing. Well, it could have been. But it's not. You, I, I, bought, I bought a replica sword to hang above, like, over my TV. And I was like... I, there's like two different kinds of sword holders you can get, right? There's one that just has the one rack for it where you can put it in the in the sheath or one we can have like out and the sheath and the sword on display and i thought i was like mm, maybe i shouldn't have the sword out so if it falls it it doesn't stab directly into my tv and execute my tv so i just got the one there was really no point to that i, I just <laughs> wanted to talk about how i got a cool replica katana and we were talking about your home i assume you got food is what ended up happening Yes, I'm very hungry. To have I thought area. something All happened right. with one of it's your okay. merchandise branded things that hang in your house. No, there are many of those. But oh, no, I'm aware. yeah, I was I was telling him that you gave me the the full tour and that it was it looks awesome in there. Hmm. I still haven't shown you the um the Bloodborne cosplay that I have on display, have I? Oh my god, no. <laughs> I have. Wait, is this have... what is this what's going on the mannequin? Yes, I have it now. So it's it's an Amazing. actual it's a replica of the hunter's outfit from Bloodborne and it has the pistol and now I have the sock lever too. Why? At the Why? At the time that I was given this tour, there was just a mannequin sitting in his living room. In why pieces, do you have yes. this with nothing on it? I don't know. Why do you have a skateboard that says hentai on it, Jesse? Um <laughs> that should be obvious. All Which right, let's get back no. into this game. No. That's neither here nor there. Yeah, without further ado, let's jump back in. <laughs> 
Do you wait, 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 Akko, do you want yes. a second to have a couple more bites? Because no, no, you're I'm, doing a lot of voices. I already ate half the sandwich. I just needed my blood sugar was getting low, so I could tell. So I was like getting low energy. That's why I wanted mm. some food. Okay, anyway. Hey, if you're sure. I'm fine, thank you. Okay. What? Are you sure you know how yoga works? Oh, wink. Of course we do. Polly and I are yoga masters with an S. Yeah, yoga's like our shit. You know, like we learned the North American rules at Spooky Academy. Like how to score 180 yoga points by catching the gong with your feet. Yeah, and I learned some of the advanced NSFW yoga poses from Master Downward Doggy Style on fans exclusively. I bet they don't teach you the make a child pose in any of these like vanilla classes. Is the chain in this game, she is like down <laughs> cataclysmic. <laughs> mm -hmm. They <laughs> definitely don't. Uh, I'd better educate you too on actual yoga before anyone from yoga, a uh, moment, moment gram sees us together and my image as a worldly, well centered hottie is ruined. Milo pauses to post a selfie with a bonsai tree and caption it, Heart Zen Heart. Mm. Anyway, this spa has the best teachers around. Whose class do you want to take? <laughs> oh no! My god. That's Brad for me. <laughs> Yo, I'm a big fan of Sergeant Relax. <laughs> Sergeant Relax, the stern soldier lauded for her merits in combat against stress. That's the mindful good. drill. I like that she's stone. Very cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hmm. Although I am a big fan of. Brad it's up to you. Me. It's your call. I'm Just trying to figure out what. So no matter what, we're getting mined from this. Uh, uh, yeah, mined, right? Yeah. So yep. yes. I guess it doesn't matter what we choose. Well, I think it. I think the, the detrimental stat is what we're picking right now. Right, right, right. right. Well, uh, but we have yeah. enough of everything else. That I don't think it matters what we pick. Yeah, here. we're we're good in, in basically everything. Right, let's I feel Sandra. like Bat Brad Fumit. No. Brad Fumit's Brad great. I love Brad Fumit. Very mm -hmm. funny. Sergeant Relax might hit our hype. True. Which would be fine. But that's fine. So we go. Yeah, I'm trying to think of which one. I don't want. I'm worried this one will mess with magic in some way. And if we're going to go magic. That's what I'm worried about too, yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. You won't regret this. Sergeant Relax is a great A professional, <laughs> even if she can be a little harsh. Right, okay, Don't worry, but I got you. Okay, thank you. Thanks for the value. <laughs> what did you oh. say about me, you maggot? I'm your sergeant, and you'll speak only when spoken to. The first word out of your mouth will be sir, and the last will be namaste. Are we clear? Oh. Sir, yes, namaste. <laughs> you there, dog boy. You got a name, you tower and pyro of unmindful shit! Ooh. Sir Scott Howe, namaste! Not anymore, it's not! From this day forward, you private dog shit! Do I make you nervous, private dog shit? I Sir, Milo yes, just namaste. smiling in the background. <laughs> well, that's He's a the problem! Best. By the time I'm done with you, you'll be so relaxed you can meditate with a loaded fucking gun in your face! Sir, please don't put a loaded gun in Scott's face. Namaste. If you kill him, they might want me to reap his soul off the clock. I love it. They keep saying namaste. <laughs> Quiet, maggot. Drop and give me 50 sage meditating thoughts. <sighs> but. Shut it. For the next 90 minutes, you'll be mind to break and remake. When we're done, you'll be enlightened weapons of mass relaxation. You undergo rigorous downward dog boot camp, deep breathing drills, and scrub yoga mats with your toothbrush. You lose minus two stamina. Uh oh. By the I end of it, it's getting low now. Yeah. Has transformed your mind and soul. The pain of her lessons makes enlightenment all the sweeter. You gain plus two mind. Come on. Remember your driving lessons. Okay, driving lessons. Remember them. Where are we going? Your choices um, are spooky house. Tater, World's Biggest Potato, and Aww. Spoopy House. Shady property. Let's see. Okay, so the two things we're we're nervous about now are stamina and mind. We could That's get stamina, stamina there. Yeah. We could take a bite of the world's biggest potato. <laughs> so I have a funny we story could. about this. You know the song, you, know, you say potato, I say potato. You know that song? Potato. Yeah. Potato, 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 potato,
when I was really little, um, we had like auditions for a play and it's like, you could sing something, right? You know, it was for, for singing and like you could pick something and so they had like songs out there to pick and they had it written down and one of them was that and somebody, a, a girl picked that, but she said, she sang it as you say potato, I say potato. Cause it's written exactly the same. <laughs> oh my God, amazing. Yeah. And so anyway. Uh, well, let's call the, the whole thing off. Yeah, let's call the whole thing off and just go to the potato. Okay, tater time. Man, it would be so great if something random happened right now. What? Stop the car. Nice. I'm like prophetic or something. Scott is in the driver's seat while you, Polly, and Arabi chat about stuff and things. <laughs> I gotta say, girl, I didn't expect you to want to hitchhike with us. Like, I sort of thought you'd try to kill one of us by now. <gasps> Whoa, that was a big bump. Do we hit something? Or did I? Wait, why'd you let me drive? Nah, that would be rude. I'm a guest here. I can find other monsters to slay when I'm back on an adventure. What do you mean, back on an adventure? This road trip is an adventure, babes. Like, I can't wait for all the action-packed hijinks you're gonna bring us along on. Oh, uh, bros, I'm having trouble moving forward. What? But I didn't really plan on going, like, on an adventure right now. I thought this was more like a vacation. Hmm. Okay, I can't get the car to budge at all. I think we're stuck in mud or something. Uh, great. Do we, like, need to get out and push or whatever? No, I don't think that'll work. It feels like we're sinking. Huh? Sinking? The hell? Oh, yeah, look at that. It looks like the car's sinking into quick asphalt. Huh, that's a new one. Huh? Oh, are we, are we going to die? No way. Quick Asphalt is like no match for adventuring badass Aravi Mishra. <laughs> so what's the plan, boo? I didn't know she had a last name. What? what? I, I don't know. I was expecting... I, I, I don't even have time to look up a walkthrough. Uh, oh, oof. <laughs> well, does anybody have a plan B before we like drown in asphalt or whatever? Walkthrough? Uh, there's always there's an entity to invoke in every situation. Best one to summon for asphalt-based enemies would be Virginia, the West Goddess of Country Road. Reset reality and start again from the last checkpoint to avoid quick asphalt this time. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> I feel like we got to go with Country Roads. Country, country Road, take me home, dude. The place where I belong. Yeah, an invocation could work. We just gotta nail the summoning chant. Country road, Country road. <laughs> take, me, take home. me home to the place that I belong. West Virginia, Mountain Mama. Take me home, Country Roads. You repeat the chant ad nauseum. Your car and your magic sinking lower and Ow. lower. I'm Until so finally, with a blast of warm sunshine, peach cobbler, and southern hospitality, Virginia the West Goddess appears! Yay! Well, bless your hearts, Virginia says. How did y'all get stuck in that quick asphalt? Ain't you seen it coming from a mile away? <laughs> I love her. I let my guard down for one second. Can you please just get us out of here, ma'am? I'm fixing to. You know this wouldn't have happened back in the day. We didn't have asphalt, just old, reliable dirt roads and friends walking on them. Walking among homes, where the buffalo roamed and the deer and the antelope would play. But listen to me, Gabon. on. I could talk till the cows come home. Let me fix you up right quick. Virginia touches the quick asphalt. It transforms into a bunch of dandelion seeds and blows away on a sweet westerly wind, allowing you to drive through. Yes! So we made it! I got my fucking blood pumping. Okay, what's our next quest, Aravi? Ugh, this is why I need a vacation. Aravi can be sour if she wants, but you had fun! You gain plus two hype from your taste of true adventure. Let's go! We lost magic. Our hype and our magic are both high now. Yeah, yeah. we're hype and magical. Behold the world's biggest potato! So large, so starchy, so rustic. Say chips! So ripe for the creation of the world's largest plate of french fries! There's plenty to do besides stare at an agricultural marvel. What do you do? Um, well, feed from the potato, of course. Yes. Feed. How yum, could you yum. 
How could you look at the giant potato and not crave fries? You need to find something to eat. <laughs> hey, look! They have a diner built in the side of the potato! Hmm. Ugh, that's a long line. They better at least have vodka on the menu. Welcome to the <laughs> potato <laughs> motherfucker. What can I get you? Hey, one hamburger, please! What part of potato diner don't you understand? Don't ask him that. We might be here for a while. <gasps> Damn, these dishes are kind of expensive. Why is this place so pricey? Because we make all our food out of the big potato. Every bite of every bite is a bite of potato history. Trademark. Awesome, bro. Awesome. Does the big potato make really good potato dishes or something? Uh, if anything, they all taste kind of stale. The big potato's getting a little up there in age. But hey, we have some, we have this special section on the menu. The manager isn't sure if it's morally okay to keep selling these dishes, so the prices are more competitive. That doesn't sound great, but oh boy, these prices are low. They're so cheap, they won't even make a dent in your money. The question is, which of these dishes will feed you while fucking you up in the least inconvenient way? Oh no. The infinite oh. fry. Smashed potatoes! Infinite fry is scary. That scares yeah, me. Yeah, no. Yeah, I don't want to eat the infinite fry. I want to eat the smashed potatoes. These guys? Potatoes. Okay. Yeah. Sounds yummy. I love mashed potatoes. No, these are different. These are smashed potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> What's the difference? A potato, potato, am I right? Sure. I definitely don't hear that ten times a day. Butts from girls, come with me. The server hands you a bib and big spiked club. Okay, that is definitely something you don't usually see, alongside mashed potatoes. She leads you all the way to the back, where you find an enclosure full of scared, scampering potato creatures. Pick the one you want to eat and smash it to death. I'll sprinkle some rosemary on it for you. Oh, but why? Just why? Some rich folks like to choose their meal while it's still alive, no? Our manager took it a step further, and now we let the customers kill the meal themselves. I think this is gonna hit our mind. <laughs> it's surprisingly popular. Guess there are more fucked up people in this world than we could have imagined. Isn't it possible, if not likely, that those people didn't actually want to club a sentient potato to death? Like, maybe they just made the same smashed slash mashed potato mistake that we did? Uh, that would make sense, actually. We had a big increase in emotional trauma lawsuits when we started serving smashed potatoes. We'll rethink the menu item. They're still having smashed potatoes, though. I already put the order in the system, and changing it is a whole process I don't feel like doing right now. The delicious and star chiefs plus two stamina, and you get managed doesn't wash oh. away the minus two soul from all the murder. Soul. Oh, We're that's safe. fine. A soul. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Was this a grim defeat or a yummy victory? That's up to you to decide. You ever seen a cat drive? All, All right, right. We got... movie set Ooh. or weird landmark, weird landmark, the old desert foot. Okay. Yeah. Take me to the desert foot, dude. Are we there yet? I know I should have fast traveled. I forget everything she does is like a RPG thing. I know. <laughs> The desert foot is a peculiar landmark. It's a natural rock formation that looks exactly like a foot. You're not sure if that justifies all the guided tours and gift shops and tourist trap stuff surrounding it. Safe feet! But hey, you chose to come here, so you might as well enjoy yourself. What do you do? All right, listen, mm -hmm. we lose money mm -hmm. here. We lose mm -hmm. soul here. And this is, we can gain big something, but we don't know what we lose. Mm-hmm. Add a tour. Good, okay. Guided Damn. tour. So guided quick. tour. Guided tour. Guided tour. You see a sign advertising a guided tour and ask your friends if they're interested. <laughs> oh, I get it. You want to pose as tour guides and prank tourists with fake fun facts about the foot. Actually, you were interested in going on a real tour, but Polly's idea is way funnier. So sure, you'll take the credit for it. Prank masters! Awesome. Look alive, prank masters with a Z, cuz... <laughs> I think I see our next marks. I'm sorry, with a what? Uh, what was that last with bit? With a, with a. Uh, what was that? With a what? With what? a, with a. Uh, sorry, what? 
I'm sorry, with a with, with what, a what? Zed, okay. What is I don't that? know. I don't know anybody yeah, named I Zed. I don't know any Zed. Uh, I know. I know a letter just named click. Z. Just click. You mean just Z, click, dude? Just click, dude. What do you mean? I have Zed a British from... child in school now. Just click. No, is your British child a sleeper next to you? <laughs> is she controlling the? the yeah, is, are, the, is she playing right, right now? now? Just click, yeah. dude. <laughs> We'll let it slide. We'll, we'll let it this slide. time. Next time, though, we're going to make fun of you even more. Oh, my God. Can I play coach? I love being coach. Okay. <gasps> yeah. Can I Can I be Can I be Spider-Rama? What's, yeah. what's her name? I can't remember her name. She's the She's counselor. The, the, the camp counselor. The camp director. Right? Camp director. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is the famous desert foot, then. <laughs> Not as impressive as the desert earlobe we toured a few miles back. I think the foot is not. Uh, the only thing that can make it better is the desert soccer ball. Hello. <laughs> Hi, Coach. Good to see you. Hi, Scott. I'm Polly and Juan. Brings you kids here on the glorious sweltering day. Are you okay? Are you <laughs> <laughs> I feel like, are you having a stroke over there? <laughs> here, 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 here's a guy who, when he, he loses his contact lens, he can't, he, he can't see very well. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> uh, we're volunteer tour guides for the Desert Foot. Do you want to hear some fun foot facts? Did you know the Desert Foot has a secret 11th toe? And not for the reason you think. <laughs> Oh, what? What reason would I? Me, me, me! My turn now! Do you know the foot is one of the smelliest parts of our bodies? You can tell a lot by a stranger by smelling their feet. For example, if a stranger lets you smell their feet, they're either really friendly or really weird. Well, you aren't wrong, Mr. Howell, but I hate what you just said anyway. <laughs> You are. It's your turn up and back. Tell us a fun uh, educational foot fact. All right, Juan. Fun oh, facts about woo. the desert foot. It gets its name because it's shaped like a foot and it's in the middle of the desert. True. It was built by an ancient civilization that revered feet as sacred creatures before realizing they were actually part of their own bodies. After centuries of erosion, the desert foot is now facing natural decay. Conservationists are accepting donations to hire a very big podiatrist. Ooh, that's the, money. The that's middle money. one sounds like there might be a magic -y element to it, maybe? I don't know. Mm. Okay, what are we worried about? Mind, mind, mind soul, and stamp. I don't feel like I mean, either of those are going to get dinged by this. That's what I'm always worried about, my mind and soul. Sure, yeah. Um, Did you guys know it's National Nut Day today? <laughs> <laughs> you said that with the enthusiasm it deserved. I'll be honest. It's, but like, like, peanuts. Like, well, I get it. Oh, I see how, okay. I see how, oh, I see where that can be misconstrued. I see where National the Nut Day. I, I see where the, I see where the miscommunication Right, was. right. Well, of course, yes. Yeah, like almonds and cashews. Those aren't nuts. Almonds and nut? Almond is a nut. Nope. False. Is it Slap. not a nut? I know peanuts not a nut. It's a legume. But what's what's a? Uh... Nuts don't exist. Nuts aren't real. Nuts are a concept, dude. Yeah, nuts are a concept, bro. Wait a minute. Hold on. Hold They're on. Like hold money. On, hold on. Yeah. Nuts. What is nuts a like nut? vegetables are just a concept. It's not a real thing. What about walnuts? Peanuts. That's just the name. You smell. even you even mentioned that peanuts were not. actually are a concept, though. Wait, have we talked about this? What? The the, the vegetables aren't real. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah, Wait, I'm not on, goofing. Vegetables. It's just a concept. Vegetables aren't real. Like yeah. every, every everything that we talk about as being a vegetable is actually in a different category that we've just decided is a vegetable. Like yes. broccoli is a flower. Yes. A vegetable is the edible part of a plant. Vegetables are usually grouped according to the portion of the plant that is eaten, such as le leaves, stem, roots, tubers, bulbs. It's arbitrary flowers. categories created that aren't real, bro. Just like, just like nuts. Just like nuts. I remember. <laughs> how how old were you? Honestly, okay, real question, real question for the two of you, because Jesse, you're a little older than us, and and dude, we're the same age. 
So yeah, yeah. how old were you when you found out that the food pyramid was bullshit? Because I remember growing up and ha hearing like, this is it. We got to eat it. This is the important shit. You got to eat this. This yeah. is what you got to base They really your diet drilled on. that shit in when we were kids. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think I was like 20, like 21 or something when I found out. And they're like, yeah, the food pyramid's garbage. And I was like, what? No. Yeah. Also, I feel like they've adjusted it quite a bit. I was bit. about like, to say. They, yeah. they're still, it's still not solidified. And I don't know if it, if we should even bother <laughs> like trying to adjust the food pyramid. Anymore. I got that like, look, here's all, being born in the early 80s only tells me to, in like, incontrovertible facts. One, everything I was taught my entire life has changed. And yeah, two, true. I don't know a damn thing. So yeah, fair. like sure. This is this fair. is not even a joke. I remember when I was young, and I've said this before, and no one believes me, but I'm telling you, it's absolutely true. Dinosaurs. I well, you know, any kid loves dinosaurs, but when I was younger, right, of course, we all do. Stegosaurus. Uh, I think it was Stegosaurus. Yeah, Stegosaurus. Um, there was. This is absolutely 100% true. There were people on TV and scientists going around being like. Stegosaurus had two brains, one in its head, one in its butt. And <laughs> this no. is not this is not a joke. I'm not mess there was a brain and it was because there was a cavity right above its tail and then mm -hmm. there was a cavity in its head and the head cavity mm -hmm. was very very small. And they were like there's mm -hmm. no way a tiny brain like that could control this massive body. So it must okay. have a secondary this conversation brain. conversation woke up my child. I'll be right back. <laughs> it must have a secondary brain in its butt. And I'm telling you, I truly thought that was the coolest thing in the world. But it is absolutely false. It is not real. Yeah, that is I mean, BS. But yeah. again, well, you know. you know, they say they say that guys have two brains, but only enough blood to work one at a time. I'm not sure I understand what you mean. Is that a is oh, oh, it's National Nut Day. Gotcha. I get it. It's National Nut Day, baby. I get it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So that was uh that's that's yeah I've I've seen the food pyramid change I've learned that everything I knew about science but at least I'm glad they're willing to admit they were wrong mm -hmm. and they're like no we found new information that turns out yeah. that wasn't true <laughs> this, this dinosaur does not have two brains does not have a butt brain but I used to think about that all the time and I mm -hmm. I uh, well I I think the one that's crazy to me is that Triceratops is not a real dinosaur what you didn't know about this it's not real what do you mean. It's the it's the juvenile form of a different dinosaur. What? I don't believe that. Yeah. Triceratops not real dinosaur. No. Yeah. That's not real. Yep, that's 100% real. Look it up. <laughs> You're a liar. You're a liar. I'm looking I'm it up right now. Hold on. Oh, I'm looking it up right now too. You kidding me? Is Triceratops real? No, I looked this up. Hold on. Oh wait, no, this is new. Triceratops really did exist. Given well, the number of Triceratops remains that have been discovered in North America, there's never been any doubt that it's a real animal. No, what? <laughs> there's never been any doubt. It says right. It is highlighted. It is highlighted. There has never been any doubt that it was a real animal. No, there was. It says <laughs> no. It says relax. Triceratops really did exist. Uh, uh what is it? Hold on. The dinosaur known as the Taurosaurus was really the adult stage of the more familiar Triceratops. That was a uh, uh, uh here's two okay. paleontologists. Okay, so there was a study in 2010 by a dude who got it posted everywhere, apparently. Um, yes, that's what I saw. Yeah, and this is the study, and he says that Triceratops wasn't real. It has since been disproven. <laughs> okay, well, never mind. Because yeah, I saw that, but I didn't see the... See, science is always changing. Yep. This is the yeah. Yeah, this yeah. one this 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 person says and this was 3 years ago uh cuz some guy was like I read this article is this is this real and some guy was like regardless of whether or not this represents a subadult torosaurus triceratops 100% is real bones are collected in real it was like it's all over North America even if the one they're talking about was a subadult torosaurus it doesn't mean that Triceratops didn't exist. Stop writing mm -hmm. and clicking on clickbait. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. Well, my face is red. Well, it's not. But... Dude, I literally just mentioned the fact that Stegosaurus had two brains and one was in his butt. You can never well, be any yeah. worse than that. 
No, but you you knew, like, you admitted, you were like, yeah, they said it, and then they changed it. But, like, come on, two brains? That's ridiculous. For an animal like that? I mean, they ridiculous. thought they thought that, they were like, well, it isn't like a brain that thinks, it's a, it, like, is chemically, it, it, like, controls the tail. Oh, it, was it so from... big, it needed like another, it, like a, it, it was probably like, if anything, like a cluster of nerves that control. Yes, yeah, yeah, but the, like, like the, you know, the clickbaity thing was, it, it has two brains. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah, I don't know about all that, but it was, man, dinosaur facts. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, are you guys still talking about dinosaurs? Yeah. Yes, we could talk about dinosaurs forever. Also, Logic, whoa, your favorite dinosaur? Octo, did yes. you know... That according to science, at least in 2011, which as we know, the, tw the early 2010s, not accurate. That's dinosaurs. when science stopped. We just yeah. kind of stopped around there and we were like, we're good. We but don't need any more science. this study says that um, according to Montana's Hell Creek formation, the mm -hmm. youngest possible dinosaur they've ever discovered was a Triceratops. So potentially, Triceratops could have been the last dinosaur standing when all dinosaurs died. He, that was it? That was the Highlander of dinosaurs? Maybe that was the last one. Yeah. He collected that all their power. It. There can there can be only one. Mm -hmm. so it's like go. that movie, The Good Dinosaur. <laughs> that yeah. Yeah, saw. yeah, yeah. Just like that. Okay. Dodger, what's your favorite dinosaur? Yeah, what's your favorite dinosaur? Uh, I don't know shit about dinosaurs. What? what? You gotta pick one. Say T-Rex. I mean, everybody knows T-Rex. Okay. Um, say, my favorite, whatever, whatever, is. whatever the one is that has like the big, the big hood, and they spit at you. Oh, oh yeah, Dilophosaurus. Yeah, they didn't sure. actually spit, but they did have a hood that was like a frilled lizard. That uh, do you think you saw Enemies. Yeah. What about you, Jesse? What's your favorite dinosaur? My favorite dinosaur? Uh, man, I'm a big fan of uh, oh, what are those dudes called? That have like they hit their heads. Pachycephalosaurus. Yeah, Pac yes, yes. Love them. Yep. Big fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good choice. Oh good choice. I like Octo, have, have you and Sam talked about dinos at all? No, but I feel like we're about to when I get on Minecraft <laughs> later. <laughs> um, I, uh, I like the Iguanodon and the Parasaurophilus and the Ankylosaurus. And I like the Compsignathus. And Compies? I like the nah, get out of here. No, nah, they're cool. There's a bunch of little guys. Little they're chickens. Little, guy. little dino chickens. There's this little guy. Um, there's there's so many there's so many to, uh, the Dionychus. There's so many to pick from. I was I was the dinosaur kid. I was one of them. One of the dinosaur kids growing up. Yeah, there's so many. There's so many. There's so like like a lot of puss is a good one, and uh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. What? <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. It's National Nut Day, bro. Okay, Dodger, choose what yeah, to do. Choose, choose your fate. Oh, I'm so sorry. I told at the middle one. Okay. What are you talking about? I've never heard of this ancient civilization. <laughs> then prepare to learn. See, the Phidians believe their feet were all actually a god called Foot God. Sorry, my thing is lagging big time. <laughs> A, a god called Foot God, and they had no control over where these divine feet took them. Oh, I got it! Woohoo! God feet! Scott? No! No, <laughs> Scott, not woohoo, because you see, Foot God is a bad god. <laughs> no! Foot God forced the Footians to sacrifice their children to the desert foot once a week, or else Foot God would walk the Footians off cliffs into active volcanoes. Foot God even threatened to walk them into the worst place in the world. New Jersey? Uh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> Dude, what? <gasps> I mean, I mean, exactly. What, but, but one day, a heroic villager came up with a grand idea to just, like, cut off everyone's feet. So, like, no more feet equals no more foot god, which equals no more problems. Plus <laughs> twist. Trying to cut off their feet was unexpectedly painful because it turns out the feet were just a part of the Footian's bodies all along. Oh my Whoa. god. Whoa, it's National Nut Day! Oh. Stop it! <laughs> So the Phidians rejoiced that Foot God wasn't real and they weren't enslaved to their own feet. And then they all gave each other banging foot jobs to celebrate the end. Whoa, God, she, I'm sorry. I already said it, but she out of control day. this game. She down bad, she just bro. Wants, 
you know. Yeah, what does she want, Dukes? No, what is, what I, really, is I don't know. I, I, she's hey, making Dukes. it really clear what she wants. I don't think I, don't, I need yeah. to say it. I don't yeah. know. I'm, I'm confused. What do you mean? <laughs> please, please explain. <laughs> Can you spell it out for me? I was gonna say she just wants to get her dick wet, but you know, I, yeah. I was gonna hold her back, and and now you made me say yeah. it. So yeah. It's not. It's Ollie's, not. What, that's Ollie, ectoplasm dodger. It's not. No. Shout out to shout out to the who's writing Polly. Whoever wrote for Polly this game. She's outrageous. They were very horny it. at the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Miss Geist, I'm disappointed by the sheer idiocy of your lies. Lying is already bad. Lying this badly is worse. Well, I'm proud of you kids. You obviously been exercising your imaginations. <laughs> You all lose minus two soul for lying, Ooh. but you gain plus two hype because the story and therefore the prank was awesome. Nice. Hey, it's time to stop and get some rest. Might take a short. <gasps> My time. turn. Yeah. Uh, plot me on, plot me on then, them, 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 picnic tables. Gotcha. Such peace and quiet. I'm going to go here. Let me to the bus station. What's that? I don't want to know what that's about. Let's find somewhere cozy. Planet Room. Oh. Experimental prison. Oh my goodness. Gift shop. What? Wealthy this is, we, mansion. We get to choose where we go, except in, so instead of having it be a surprise. So we oh. have money, money, money. We have money, 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 lose money, gain money, and something. We also have hype, which could you know what? That's good. Hype is Our good. hype is the highest right now. All right. Yeah. Nighttime. Who do you want to talk to? Um, talk to Polly so I can talk what? to myself. What? Let's see what it does. For one week, all resource gains and losses from location events are increased by one. Okay. Gains and, and losses. Okay. Oh, it's the Wait, same. They're the same. Always, yeah, gains and losses. Are so who do you want to talk to? Polly. Okay. Of course. Talk about oh my god, that picture. <laughs> it's that's a very good picture. I also got distracted by that. Um <laughs> talk about being a ghost. Sure. Being a ghost rules. And being a ghost is dope. Not only can you go through your afterlife with way less limitations, but it also like makes you think, you know? Like life, afterlife. <laughs> like, how does that even work, you know? Some people are born ghosts, and other people like me are dead ghosts. Oh, I'm sad now. We surely don't abide by the same rules as like corporeal creatures, but I mean there are rules still. Oh. <laughs> Weird ghost rules. Huh? Yeah, we're like not exactly mortal, but we're like immortal either. Like how that works is still totes a mystery to me. Yes, the same here. I will look up into the corner. <laughs> I love this face. That's a good face. Like, some ghosts age, and like some don't, and some do, but at like a different pace. It's like stoops weird. And some ghosts definitely cease to be. But like, that's far from the end of it, you know? <laughs> Como? <laughs> Well, we keep transforming and transitioning in like totally different ways again and again. So like, who knows? Tomorrow I might just like not be here anymore. <laughs> but you know, maybe I'll become something else, something new. Oh, Polly. I may be stardust. I might be flesh once again. I might be a warm, distant memory. I might be like a line in a song. She sits in silence, looking at the stars as she grabs your hand, maybe a bit in awe, maybe a bit in fear. Oh. 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 Chaotic energy. Way to go. Uh. Wait. Change hitchhiker. Oh. Oh. This will kick <gasps> Robbie off your team. No, I don't want to do that. Uh. Ooh. For one week, you'll gain plus one magic and lose plus. Oh, wait. Do we want magic back, or are we going for hype? I don't know anymore. I mean, we can get someone new. Let's get somebody new. I mean, I love Arabi, but... Bye, guys! <laughs> oh, wait, let's get Liam! <laughs> yeah, let's get Liam. We lose hype, Wait, 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 wait. no, that'll, that'll lose our hype. That'll lose our hype. No, 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 no. Uh, next time you barter with noodles, you get plus one extra resource gain. Oh, that's pretty good. Let's mm. get Valerie. 
Okay. Time I do love Liam, but I don't want to ruin our hype. Robbie left the party. Bye, idiots. My Valerie to join your road trip. We lost Dodger and gained Dodger. <laughs> by joining you. Hey, stranger, I know you'd miss me and my stuff, so let's go. Hey! Alright, we got nine more to go. We can get there. I believe in us. Guys, I would just like to say Yes. We haven't crashed yet. So like I'm I'm doing alright, you know? Dodger, I would you just like to say noggin. what if we all went on a road trip in the UK? We should. Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Let's go. Ro UK road trip to like North Hampshire over Glen. And we'll just like walk through town and they'll be like, oh, go is that, where the, is, is that where the Blarney Stone is? <laughs> yeah, exactly. I've kissed the Blarney Stone. Wait, really? really? Yeah, I've done that. Amazing. Oh. When I was 19. All right, we're going to the experimental prison. One hundred. Yeah, I gotta go to the experimental prison. Maybe it's like cube two, hypercube. <laughs> yeah, may uh oh. Uh oh. The car stop. Uh -oh. Warning, you're about to activate a plot line. For a plot line to appear, you first need to hoard enough of a resource. And they only appear if you've been on the road trip for enough weeks. First, a road event will simply not let you decide if you want to engage with the plot line or not. Your choice. If you choose to take on the plot line, you'll see three special road events that are common exchange events. But the last one is an incremental event. Oh my goodness. What the fuck is that? You may be asking. I'll tell you. An incremental event has three stages. And in each stage, you'll face two options. Here, each option is tied to one of your resources. The only thing missing is that these were different color and shaking. Yeah. <laughs> you must choose the option tied to your highest resource of the two. If you choose wrong, you'll fail. The incremental event will end and the plot line will be cancelled. If you succeed at the three stages, you'll unlock a new layer for the destination tied to the plot line. But remember, you'll only see that awesome layer if you reach said destination. Godspeed. Oh. Hey, uh, you just reached a high amount of hype. Good for you. Hey, it's me. Does that mean you're aiming for the hype-based destination? Sure. If so, there's a wacky adventure that could unlock a layer for that destination. Yes. Wanna go for it? Yes. Yes. Yes! yes. Great. The adventure will be waiting for you on the road. Sorry for breaking the fourth wall. See ya! Oh, no problem here. Yeah. You're faced with a very strange prison. I have no clue why you'd want to break into a prison as the fun road trip activity. What can go wrong? But it's safe to say that this place isn't your- Oh my god, my queen is here. Uh, maybe the morbid curiosity is getting to you. In any case, what are you hoping to find inside this prison? Oh my god. Uh, deadly games, of course. Yeah. Deadly games for the hype. Obviously. You all go to the prison entrance and inquire about a tour, but the security guard just beats you until you're unconscious. Bummer. Uh, what happened? Did we go on a bender and I just forgot? Jesse. Jesse. Oh no. <clears throat> Sweet. You guys are finally awake. Now we can solve this puzzle. Huh? What puzzle? Where are we, Dahlia? We're in the experimental prison! Uh, we were all kidnapped and put in here as a metaphor for how selfish monsters are or something dumb. In order to escape, we need to solve this puzzle. There are two doors in this room. One leads to oh, freedom, no. the other to certain death. Wait a minute, is this actually Cube? But there's a guy guarding <laughs> each door. Amazing. One guard Holy always shit. tells the truth, the other guard always lies. We only have one chance to ask the guard a question and pick the right door or we die. I know how to solve this riddle. We can ask a guard which door the other guard would tell us to. Lame. Boring. Don't be a boring boob, Cinnamon. Let's add some spice to this situation. Uh, not enough cinnamon. It's not often we get the opportunity to ask someone anything our hearts desire. We've literally always had that opportunity. Asking people stuff is free. 
Yeah, but like now we've got added stakes to the situation and the stakes are meaningless to me because I'm already dead. So <laughs> like, let's just have fun with it, you know? But Scott, Dahlia and me aren't dead yet. You'd really like to stay that, and you'd really like to stay that way. Ha! I'd like to see them try to kill me. Worst case scenario, I just get another cool scar out of it. Good one, Polly. And my understanding of mortality is shaky at best. <laughs> so I'd rather do this Polly's way. That's my guy. Well, dang, peer pressure is your greatest weakness. Guess you can worry about not dying later. It's funny question time. Nice. Nice. Let's fight fire with fire. If these guards wanted to mindfuck us with this riddle, then let's ask them a mindfucky question and just get back at them. Emotional warfare. Hmm. Guard of the left door. Is it true you develop the secret feelings for guard of the right door? FOMO warfare. Guards, now that we're all good friends, I thought about renting quads for all of us. Want to join us for a day of thrill, fun, and quads? God. I want to do the top one. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, do it. <laughs> oh, nasty. Oh, we are no. definitely oh, going to no. lose three oh, souls no. for playing dirty. <laughs> Holy shit. But fuck it. I want to see what they say. Uh, you stroll up to the first guard and ask him your question. Well, I, I don't know what you mean, he says, sweating. We're co-workers and office romances are usually bad news. And, and... Ugh, fuck it. I can't tell a lie. It's true. I'm hopelessly in love with God number two. After years of working together, all the nice conversations, I couldn't help catching feelings and we have so much in common. We both guard doors. <laughs> you really love me? Guard number two gasps. Guard number one, I... I don't feel the same. What? But he lies. What? Uh, how could you break his heart so casually, bro? Guard number one looks like he might cry, but then he realizes, wait, but you always lie, don't you? Does that mean you do feel the same? Guard number two winks roguishly. I don't know, guard number one. Why don't you come over here and find out? Holy shit. Holy shit. Holy shit. They are hardcore making out. This is the best. What a twist! Here I thought we were going to, uh, we were in a Deadly Games genre scenario when it was actually a rom-com all along! God, what a, what a nice surprise. <laughs> With the guards distracted, you can easily check both doors. You find the right exit and leave unharmed. <laughs> I'm happy we left safely, but I'm even happier those guards found true love! You rock! Yeah, to that. Cinnamon's a master riddle solver and matchmaker. Yup, you're the total package. Woo. You're also the proud owner of plus three hype. Oh, Good work. Three hype. Oh, Woo. hell yeah. Worth it for the soul dip. Hey, our soul is, uh... The soul's in a uh, bad place. Dicey, dicey, dicey. Hype, stamina, mind. That's no soul. Oh, my God. This is money, money, minus money. At least this one, you know we'd lose money. And then we have a gift shop and we have Doom's Diner. Get more hype though. How much hype do we need? 25? Yeah. I don't want to lose soul. I don't want to lose soul. Let's I know, go to the... I'm scared. Gift shop? I guess we could go there and and not. Yeah, let's go. Let's go to the gift shop. Let's go to the gift shop. Okay. Oops. Noodles again. Isn't it cool how nothing ever happens on the road? Oh, damn it. <laughs> Whoa, no. why is the car stopped? You drive past Suzanne and Whiskey wiping grease off their arms outside of an old car mechanic shop. You pull over to say hi. Hey, bro. Hey, what? bros! What are you up to? We're working on a bumper car to enter the annual Bump and Uglies tournament. <gasps> Bump and Uglies tournament? This yeah, it's like a no-holds-barred knockout battle royale held at Knifeland every year. We're gonna Knife fucking land. crush it. Especially with my incredible misdirection strategy. Those amateurs won't even know what hit them. Fuck misdirection. Best strategy is crashing everyone else first and hard. Suzanne, I don't know if bumping uglies is the right place for a full frontal assault. We should play defensively. I know you'd rather take the thrill seeker route, but uh, the only thrill I seek is the thrill of victory. What's the point of even bumping uglies if you're not willing to play hard and dirty and possibly kill your partner? Because I am your partner, and I don't want to die. Ugh. Non-team player thinking. It's exactly why we haven't settled on a final design for our bumper car yet. 
<laughs> you know, um, Butts from Gers has got a lot of experience butting in on other people's problems. So, like, I bet he could help you pick a final design. Sure, why not? Which design do you like best, Butts from Gers? Wait a second. Wait a fucking second. What? Wait a fucking second. Was that unicorn smoking a cigarette backwards? Yes. So he puts... So he lights the filter and then smokes. He <laughs> yes. He put he puts he puts the Bernie bit in his mouth. Yeah. God damn. That's how that's how hardcore he is. Um. The, okay. The baby on board is the better design. You'll avoid full confrontation since most cards will avoid running over a baby. Uh, just a lot of eels is the better design. It doesn't avoid full confrontation, but it provides a fuck ton of eels, which is weaponized for fall eels. Eels. Eels, honey. <laughs> Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Uh, uh, yes, I knew you'd appreciate my genius butts from Gers. So the strategy is just the uh, eels. No, even better strategy is lots of eels. I just don't see how that works against the bumper car with actual weapons. Dude, you're thinking too hard about it. Who needs weapons when you got fucking eels? <laughs> Later, with Knife Lens 12th Annual Bump and Uglies Tournament, a team of banshees are competing in the bumper car battle royale. Someone's coming up on our right, says the one manning the harpoon. What's their weapon? I can't tell from here, says the one driving. It looks like they're throwing something. Is it fireballs? It's usually fireballs. Nobody has any imagination anymore. No, it's not. It looks like slimy ropes. Or oh, wait, is it? Oh, fuck yeah. Get eeled, bitches. We're jumping, Suzanne. You're gonna spill the eels. Suzanne chucks some eels at the banshees. They get electrocuted and fall out of their bumper car, allowing whiskey to run them over. Nice. You gain plus two hype for picking such an incredible strategy. No! God uh, damn it! Oh, no! No. Fuck. Wait, do we actually die here? <laughs> That's it! That's it! That's oh it! Oh my god, we got so far! That's it! You lose the last shred of your soul and can't finish the road trip. Luckily, you hid several pieces of your soul in cool lockets and swords in case the exact situation happened. But it turns out a plucky band of teenagers with a chosen one complex already destroyed them all! God damn it. Damn rotten kids. We could have got right, to Hype Town. Oh. <gasps> Wait, what? You you kill us. Oh, the most. because I lost the most soul. Okay. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I like how it's first, first, and third. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Heartbreak. Heartbreak. Ugh, we were on the road. We were going for the hype ending. Heartbreak. We don't even get end credits. It just boots us to the beginning. Oh, <laughs> man. Wow, we got owned. We did. Thoroughly. Thoroughly and completely. <laughs> man, I really thought we were going to take it to the end goal, dude. I Me thought too. we were going to get there. I thought the credits are for winners. <laughs> oh, so. damn. Damn. Uh, if you just survive for long enough, does the game end? I don't know. You have to find out, I guess. Okay. Oh <laughs> I assume it just, it must just like keep going until you either die or get an ending, right? Yeah. Do you want to, how much time do y'all have? Do you have time for a quick adventure? Um, I have about 30 minutes. Ooh. Do you want to play one character? Sure. We could do that. Oh, hold on. Let me, uh, can I use the bathroom real fast? Yeah, dodge it out and pick a character. Go pee, go pee, go pee. Okay, 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 okay. All right. Road tripper. Normal. On the road, we know this. Escape. Okay. Who okay. are we going to be, dudes? <gasps> oh. <sighs> Who do you want to be? I do love our, our eldritch sweetie pie, but I also love Oyasumi Poon Poon. I don't even know what that means. It sounds dirty. It's not. It oh, is horrifying. Only sumi poon poon sounds dirty as yeah. shit. Yeah. All right, we'll be we'll be your poon poon. Let's be poon poon. Okay. Yep. Glitch. Okay. So, 
Yeah, rename it to P U N P U N. Yep, great, perfect. Great. All right, fantastic. Okay, lovely, lovely. This time we're gonna get rock. We're gonna, uh, I'm about to say okay, call yeah. it rock Do but... it. You're going on a road trip. Great. It's me, Octo. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Where do we want to go? Let's wait. Let's wait for the boy. We'll let's wait, for, wait the boy. for the boy. Let's wait for the boy. Let's wait for the boy. All right. So this time we only got one character. Yep. So in theory, yep. we should be able to pull this off. Uh, yeah. In theory, if we just use our minds and work together, we should be mm -hmm. able to pull this off. Use our minds, but I use our minds too much. Not, I mean, yeah, well, uh, you can use your mind a lot if you want. No, if we use it a lot, then we'll hit zero mind. No, no, we'll, uh, we'll gain mind. <laughs> can I just tell you, I just got, my phone blew up. I was like, yes, oh, who messaged up? me? What's going on? It was four messages that were like, by R God of War Ragnarok available November 9th. I'm like, what the? What? Why do I have it? I don't know what that was from. I don't think I have. I don't know why that would pop up on my phone. How strange. How Very strange. Weird. Very weird. I guess my phone wanted to remind me that that's a thing, I guess. Well, guess what, phone? Moss Prom's out right now, so piss off. Yeah. Hey, okay, I'm here. Hello, I'm here. Hello, I'm here. welcome Hello, back. Hello, bud. We're Poon Poon. We, we are. We're Poon Poon. Poon Poon. Yeah, we're Poon Poon. Yeah. Okay, cool. All right. Where are we going to go? We're going to get gas? Uh, did you guys pick Surf Rock for me? Yeah. Uh, ooh, futuristic gas station. Or just the regular gas station. We got two choices. Where are we filling up? Um, well, why go for regular when you can go for... Obviously. Whoa, is that a gas station? Uh, I think it's the future. We didn't even get to see the plot. <laughs> we had a whole, we had a whole plot thing. Cancel. You me. pull into no. what you think is a gas station, but honestly, this could be a space station for all you know. Seriously, this place is high tech as hell. Do they even service regular vehicles? Well, the only one way to find out. What do you do? Hmm. Use the restrooms, obviously. No. Uh. Get the magic up. We know what we're well, going for. I kind of want to do the question mark one. Okay. Use What's the restrooms. That? Yeah. Let's go pee. You hit up the restroom to do your business for the minute you think you've somehow wandered into the future. Everything in here is super high tech. As if a bathroom designer has asked themselves, what could bathrooms be instead of what should bathrooms be? Oh, no. Jurassic Park. Oh, my God. It's like that Bob's Burgers episode. The commode looks like an Olympian throne designed by Alan Turing himself. You hesitantly sit on the screen that looks most like a toilet seat. Thank you for choosing Smart Toilet Prime, says the toilet. The future of shitting is now. I wish my toilet said that. <laughs> <laughs> cool. You explore the toilet's features. The lo-fi button provides a relaxing soundtrack for your poop. I gotta say, one of the best things I, I encountered in Japan, heated toilet seats. Yeah. You press the hot meal option and receive a delicious burger. You choose not to wonder where the toilet stores these burgers. This is all quite amazing. Totally worth singing a toilet, signing a toilet terms of use statement and having your personal data gathered by the toilet, but from your butt to the internet. Do you guys it's ever eat on the toilet? What? <laughs> Do you guys ever eat on the toilet? There is literally a phrase, it's an adage, and it, it's very old, and it's called, don't shit where you eat. And literally, <laughs> that's that's advice that they give you, like, as a thing. Like, don't do that. <laughs> and I think, I think the converse is I, also No, no I, think, I think we should not, of all the things I want to push Dodger on, this is the one time I'm like, you know what, no, I'm all right. No, I'm, I don't need no, no more. I'll, like, I'll, no, no. I do not, but I have a, <laughs> I had a friend in college who was friend very open. In college. Uh -huh. I had a friend in college who was named Crook Blossom, 
Uh-huh. Uh-huh. I'm kidding. This literally wasn't me. Please, please don't. I don't uh -huh. want anybody to walk uh -huh. away thinking this was uh -huh. me. Yeah. Oh my god. I wish I had never brought this up now. Nope, too late. Too nope. late now. We gave you an out. We don't even have to talk about this. And you're like, well, let me just tell you the story really quick. <laughs> Anyway, my friend insisted that it was the best way to go to the bathroom was to eat at the same time. What? You know you don't have to. It is, it's, you know you don't have to do it. No. <laughs> That's half true. Because I think the best way to go to the bathroom is to have a Game Boy Color with a copy of Pokemon Yellow in it. Yeah. Um, oh, so now, shit. you combine the two, play Pokemon Yellow, well, eating a meatball sub while you're on the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're, living, you're living large, baby. No, my weird toilet thing was that I always had a huge basket that was full of um, those uh, Archie Double Digest comics. Oh. And I would read those while I went potty, and now every time I <laughs> potty, I'm such a mom! Every, <laughs> every time uh, I see those like being sold in America, I'm like, oh, I kind of need to shit now. I would go over to my grandmother's and like read. she would have Reader's Digest. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's a bummer when, as a result, you're shown the targeted ad for hemorrhoid cream, you still rate the toilet five stars on Wilp when promoted. Finally, you pinch it off and you're ready to leave. Ew, gross. But only then you realize your grave mistake. The stall has no toilet paper. I've been there before. That's fun. Yeah, that's awful. You just just use a use a seat uh, a, a seat cover. That's oh, I you had to, but I had to go to another. Yeah. I don't it's like nice. crab oh, walk. Oh no, Jesse! <laughs> oh my god, I was in I was in Poland at an event. Like it was outside of a convention, but it, I guess there was like a train station that used to be very popular, but I guess it closed down and now is just all like all the places where you get tickets are restaurants and it's a bar and like a dance hall and stuff. Very cool. But as the night went on, everyone got more and more drunk. And so I went to go to the bathroom because like, you know, it was, I think it was my birthday that day and I eaten like the craziest food of my life. And I definitely had to go number two. So I go to the bathroom, walk in the men's room of this giant club area Inch and a half of pee on the floor. Just like oh. the grossest thing I've ever seen. And I was like, okay. Went to the stall. Was like, all right. How do I do this? Because there was no toilet seat. So I had to both hold my pants down and up while squatting over a toilet. Only halfway through did I realize there was no toilet paper. And I was like, no. So then I had to crab walk my way through the pee over to the next stall and there was no toilet paper in the tube but it did have those those seat things so i used that i <clears throat> exited that bathroom and went back to my hotel and took like a 45 minute shower i never felt so disgusting in my it was the grossest thing i've ever done in my entire life it was the worst there was like drunk polish dudes watching me and they were like huh, yeah <laughs> i was like what somebody help me it was great it was great I'm really proud of all of us. Yeah. We're, we're, I'm, we're all just, we've all got it. Honestly, we've all got yeah. it. The X Factor, we have the it. X the X Factor. X Factor. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we, <laughs> we've got it. <laughs> you desperately searched the toilet for a bidet button, but there's such a <laughs> There are okay, other we buttons. Get out of here, dude. <laughs> we Which do you pick? Uh, ooh, total cleanse, because the all caps is always a good sign on a smart toilet. Mega premium happy ass forever magical time, because you can't not press that button. Press right? it. Total cleanse. Total yep. cleanse, baby. I must be the only person who wants a mega premium happy ass forever. Happy, happy no. ass. No. All caps, I feel total like cleanse. we've had too many conversations already that... Yeah, but I need to, I need to total cleanse. I mean, I'll click it. Seems I'll like click the it. best way for us to move But on. I'm open for a happy, happy ass time. Just say it. Suddenly, the toilet encases you in a metal tube. Do not scream, prime shitter, it says. <laughs> Prepare to be cleansed. Hot soapy water is blasted inside your ass. The rest of your body is also washed, scrubbed, exfoliated, and moisturized. The toilet cleans your body. It cleanses your palate. It cleans up your act. Your police record has never been more spotless. The toilet even cleanses your soul with a baptism. A robo-priest suddenly enters your stall and anoints you with soap. 
It puts a wafer in your mouth that apparently symbolizes the flesh of the toilet, whatever that is. Thank you for choosing smart toilet, Prime Disciple. The toilet says that it sends you on your way out with an air freshener hanging from your nose. You're unsure if you just joined some techno toilet cult. Uh, and that you're... That pressure uh, wash exhausted minus two stamina from you, but plus two soul sure feels invigorated. Where are we going? Uh, troll gas station. We just came from a gas don't station. Go to another gas station. What's the other one? R roadside Wig Museum. Wig Museum. Absolutely. Yes. I think we went here in the demo. Yes, we definitely I think we did. did too. I have to ask. I still didn't ask if the the Wig Museum looking like the the Knoxville. World's Fair Sun Sphere is the reference to The Simpsons. I think it is. Anyway, wigs of every color, shape, and style from Afro to Updo are on display here. Wig to meet you, madam. You never knew there was such a rich history to artificial hair. There are plenty of things to check out at the museum. You decide to. We did the Plus kids height. tour last time. Dead. We are we are up on soul at the moment. We can we check can... out the exhibition. Yeah, let's do it. You, Polly, and Scott enjoy wandering around the magical wigs for the fabulous exhibition for all of four minutes. It's Polly time! Okay, I am tired of staring at these wigs. Let's try some on. Please do not try on the wigs, ma'am, says an employee, or I'll be forced to call security. Go ahead, call the cops. I'll have sex with them. If we can't try them on, can we at least eat them? I'm hungry, and the big powdered wigs look like cotton candy. If you eat the wigs, I'll definitely need to call security. What about this wig here? The sign says it has arcane powers and comprehensible to any mortal. <laughs> I'm not mortal anymore, so like I could totes comprehend them. The employee sighs and clicks a button in his pocket, and you are all forcibly carried to the next room by security guards. No. <gasps> this sucks. Poon Poon, how the hell are we supposed to have fun here if we can't touch stuff? Or eat stuff, or, or fuck around with forbidden magic. <laughs> that last one went in a different direction than I thought it was going to go. I know, same. Great, yeah, great question. You don't know much about having fun at a museum yourself, but you know a lot about bothering people who want to be left alone. I gotta say, what what age did your, like, going to a museum go from ugh to oh? Like, oh, for me... I've, al I've always liked museums. I hated museums when I was a kid, but now I love them. I don't know. For me, I was uh, whatever. Maybe that's just a no thing. comment. Mine's selfish. What's your What's your answer, Jesse? Mean. I just realized that it's a great date location. It works every time. What? All right, let's continue on. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but but no, you no, no, but you no, no. no, we're not what? gonna move on. What do you mean? You we should move on. Do you not enjoy going to a museum by yourself, or would you not enjoy going to a museum by yourself? Uh, of course I'd enjoy, because then I could go there, learn things in advance, and use that to my advantage on the museum date. I see. Interesting. It's called huh. Homework Dodger. I think I've only been on Yeah, two. I was always bad at homework. <laughs> I've been on two museum dates, and they worked pretty well. They, they went pretty They well work very time. well. Here's the thing. Yeah. If you can go on a museum date with someone who likes museums, it's a winner. If it's a person yeah. that clearly has no interest, you are wasting your time, and you've had the worst date of your life. Okay. Fair. Wait a minute. You gotta, you gotta so learn. Does, so, 90% of the time, it works every time, is what you're saying. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yep. Okay. Yep. You look around the exhibition and decide who to pester for your entertainment. Oh, look at this guy. He seems really into wigs. So, is that... I mean, yeah. <laughs> then there's the suave waterman. Who looks quite heisty. <laughs> Who are we? Who do we want to meet? Do we want to touch I skeleton? I want to meet man? the world of wig skeleton nerd. I do as well. Is that Osmosis Jones? Legally, no. Good call. You if anybody here knows Jones. how to enjoy a wig exhibition, it's that guy. Hey, Shout bro. out to Tumblr user. You can't slut shame Osmosis Jones, by the way. <laughs> How's it going, bro? Do you know how to have fun looking at wigs? Can I, can do I do it? Octo. Yeah, go for it. Do I know how to have fun looking at wigs? Does the word wig derive from the French word peruque, which eventually became <laughs> any wig? Is that, how, is that Skeletor? Is that, um, of course I do. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ugh, this does not look promising. Fun fact about wigs number one. 
In the past, wigs were worn more often by men than women, especially within royalty. Are we wearing any wigs at the moment? No! Fun fact about wigs number two. I think we have very different definitions of fun. In the 18th century, wig makers petitioned King George III for a law to ensure certain professions always required wigs to be worn. King George denied this petition, though. We don't stand King George III in this house. <laughs> Polly, wigs don't seem cool anymore. Surprise wig activity. Let's each share three professions that should be required wigs to be worn if King George III has accepted this petition. Can we do something else? Lame. Wrong answer. The right answer was plumbers, ninjas, and the president. <laughs> no. Dang, I can feel the minus two hype leaking out of my pores. Ha. <sighs> This always happens. I must admit, I'm not good with people. If I... I wish there was a cool magical wig that covered the baldness of my social skills. It's okay, boring wig person. It wasn't that bad. We still got plus two mine from all those non-fun wig facts. Bye! Yeah, so thanks for that. We're gonna leave now, though, because literally anything would be more fun than this. So have a good day! A wedding or a rodeo? Ooh. Oh my god, a wedding. I, I agree. Go to the wedding. Crash the wedding, crash the wedding. Guys, I'm pretty sure we've seen that cactus before. It, it, it's like a celebrity cactus? Oh my god, I'm such a big cactus fan. Oh, weddings. The union of two or more soulmates pledging life and love to each other for the rest of their days. I would love to go or, to a or more wedding. <laughs> I bet that'd <laughs> like be a, a ton of fun. wedding? Yeah. yeah. If you believe in the in that true love stuff, if not, at least weddings are a fun place to dress fancy and get drunk. Free rice! Woo! They're also fun to crash, which is what you're doing now. Shh. So what do you want to do? Uh, Talk, talk to the, the runaway, runaway bride? bride? Oh, yeah. Oh my, speak now or forever hold your peace is one that scales. <laughs> Let's do it. Oh, Let's, go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're going for it. You each have your own approach in to sneaking into the wedding. Polly faces through the wall. You use your trusty plot armor to get in whatever wacky situation you want. Scott wears a lampshade and pretends to be furniture in the back of the room. You're pretty sure security just doesn't have the heart to throw him out. You catch the ceremony. It's normal and boring until the preacher says, If anyone objects to this union, speak now or forever hold your peace. Nice. Girl! Oh, them my God! God. I look he's, so fucking cute. He's <laughs> oh my so god. So cute. I love that you can still see through I her. Love. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the midriff. Oh, them's pranking words. I object. What? Why? Who even are you? <laughs> I love that Polly brought a formal on this road trip. Like, that's, yeah. that's so her. Okay, Polly, go. <laughs> I'm a Pippin' Pussin' Poppin' Dippin' Doppelis, a professional wedding objector. I'm a pro at spotting a doomed couple, and these newlyweds really take the cake. You tongue twister master. That was lovely. That was good. <laughs> Thank you. I object to! I am a whale! Look at this boy! Oh, hey. and I don't think it's fair that Furniture can't legally marry! I'm gonna keep objecting until this injustice is fixed! Object! 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 Scott, no! Scott, this is a wedding, not a courtroom. It's not the same kind of objection. Oh, I meant object. <laughs> Who's Scott? I'm not gonna stop objecting until a household objects. Love is recognized in the court of law. Object, object. <gasps> oh no, he's too into character. Poon Poon, can you distract everyone with an objection and I'll snap him out of it. The pressure's on now. Why do you object to this union? How far will you go with this prank? Marriage is a scam. You know what isn't a scam? Investing in your 401k <laughs> in an early age. True. <laughs> so true. The uh, open bar has been out of limes for like an hour. We can continue the ceremony when the pressing problem is resolved. Uh, beware, that is not your fiance. It's his evil twin. His sudden goatee isn't a bold fashion statement, but an undeniable proof of evil. Evil. That's, the one. That's it. That's it. That's the one. 
You really think I'm evil just because I grew a goatee, the groom says? I just thought it looked nice. Goatees are due for a comeback, you know. Mm. Huh. Fair enough, but what about your sinister eye patch? Does that mean you're evil? Wow, so now everyone who wears an eye patch has to be evil. Do you realize how fucked up you sound? It's true that the evidence is circumstantial, says the best man, but it's worth noting that the groom's parents did have twin boys, Richard and Evil <laughs> oh, Richard. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, really? That's pretty indicting then. Are you actually evil, Richard? Fine, you caught me, the groom says, but maybe if my parents hadn't named me Evil Richard, I wouldn't have felt the need to be evil. Nature versus nurture, people. Wait, so you're really an evil twin, the other groom asks? That's so crazy. I'm an evil twin, too! Oh my god. I stabbed my twin brother and came here planning to disrupt the whole ceremony, but I guess I don't have to do that anymore. Really? Small world, evil Richard laughs. I smothered Richard with the pillow to be here. I guess great evil minds think alike, my dear. Aw, they found love. Aw, love wins! Love wins! <laughs> the best man frowns. Holy uh, shit. Can somebody maybe go call the police, or...? <sighs> Shush! Don't spoil this tender moment! <laughs> Your dumb prank ended up uniting an evil power couple and unholy matrimony. You lose minus three soul, but gain plus two hype, and even plus one mind for cracking the case of the secret evil twins. Hey, our mind is pretty stellar right now. Hey, we're pretty smart. Big brain moves. Graveyard. Caves. Mm. Hmm? Hmm. What do you think? I mean, caves is nice and mysterious. Okay. Yeah, let's go to caves. Love is so beautiful. And so is chaos. True. I mean, chaos is a ladder. <laughs> so Snap, true. everybody. So true, Umphi. What could the what could be inside this dank, dark cave? Oh, shiny. Golden jewels, an abandoned mine shaft, dinosaur bones, an ancient civilization that's yet to be uncovered. I mean, all those things are hella unlikely. It's almost definitely just a bunch of bats and rooks in there. But you know that for sure until you explore the cave. What? Are, well, you won't know for sure until you explore the cave. What are you going to do here? Look for ore. We could go spelunking. Yeah, obviously. We gotta get that free yeah, option. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Woohoo! Time to explore a dark cave with your best friends. What could be better? So we're just like visiting a random cave. Why? You guys know we don't have to stop at everything we see on the road, right? Polly, Polly, cheer up, Polly. Exploring a cave will be fun. It'll be full of new smells and tight spaces to get stuck in. You meet a strange <laughs> old man at the cave's entrance. Beware oh. venturing too deep into the cave, he says. Hoarsely, if you value your lives. Yeah. Uh. Okay, this just got interesting. What's in the cave? Curses? Serial killers? <gasps> Cursed serial killers? No, says the old man. It's just a really deep cave, and you kids clearly don't have enough provisions or hiking gear for this. Always spelunk responsibly. Lame. Ugh. So all that awaits in there is a lot of walking. Pass. Since you're here, old man, like, um, do you know a good place to get a drink after we ditch this boring cave? We can't ditch the cave yet. Don't you want to explore it and see where it leads? It's such a cool mystery. How is this a mystery? It's a cave. It'll lead to another exit or, or like a dead end, maybe. You know where it probably won't lead? A bar, which is all I care about finding right now. You said probably. That means there's still a chance of finding a bar in the cave. That's a chance we should take. It's like Coach always says. Kids, every three-pointer not taken is another night you spend crying into a bowl of cereal wondering where it all went wrong. Coach said that. <laughs> the cutaway is, is like, very, okay. The cutaway is very unusual there, but God, that was a good choice to do that. Because <laughs> yeah. normally it would just be like Scott saying Coach, but that's very funny. Yeah. Yeah. Who cares? We can worry about Coach after we've explored the cave. Fine, I'll do it. Just tell me how long this will take so I can plan my boredom accordingly. Ooh, okay. Keep walking until Polly admits it was a fun idea. <laughs> uh, uh, 
You can't risk your access to funny memes. Start walking. Refuse to stop until someone serves drinks in this fucking cave. You aren't leaving without a proper drink. I feel like the first one would be mind. Do the sensible thing. If we want to go for mind, that is. Yeah, true. Okay, yeah. we can try it. Sure. Yeah. You begin walking through the cave. Holly quickly gets bored and starts watching videos on the clock app. Oh my god, look at this canary dancing to house music. Throw it back, you funky little dinosaur. Oh, damn it, the video's buffering. How dare my internet crap out during such a crucial viewing. Maybe that canary video is trying to tell us something. If we go too far in this cave, we might lose access to the internet entirely. My god. No. No, my need for memes and instant gratification cannot take that. We have to run for it. You sprint back to the cave entrance, losing minus one stamina. We did it! Hooray, my signal is back! That was a close one, bros! We almost didn't make it out of time in your cup, babe. Before people got sick of it and called it cringe. <laughs> but cringe is dead. We're lucky to still be relevant. Do not kill the part of you that is cringe. Kill the part of you that cringes. <laughs> yes, exactly. Cheer up, bro! We made it! Uh, wanna rewatch that Dancing Canary video to celebrate? Yeah. Always want to watch a Dancing Canary video. You all the groove and verb and become filled with the hype of being terminally online. Oh, nice. Sweet. So much hype. Terminal hype. Time to get some rap. Do you want to trade and see if we can min-max sure. our stuff? Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's trade. Later that night. Pwn, pwn. Yo, pwn, pwn. I'm running a special just for you. You can have everything on the shelves if you trade me that pissed liver of yours. <laughs> what do I need it for? Well, you don't need to know. Less talking, more liver removing. Fine, but I'll get you next time. You got anything else you want to trade? Good old noodles. This is going to be money, I uh, assume. Money. Is Stamina. there anything over here that's that's mind related? Oh, true. The gas canister is 100% mind. No, I thought it's magic. Oh, Matt, you're right. It's magic. Yeah, it's magic. So we would be losing magic for gaining something else. This is probably is soul, I would imagine. This is stamina, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we don't want to lose stamina. Maybe uh, money, since we have plenty? Yeah, sure. I'm down to lose money. <laughs> fruit condoms. Forbidden fruit condoms. Primordial. <laughs> Yikes. Teacup Unicorn needs a good home. Baby's first Satanist kit. It's probably, it's probably minus, or maybe, I don't know. Magic? It probably gives you magic, yeah. Probably but magic, but the yeah. thing above, what does the thing above give you then? The condoms? Hidden fruit condoms? I mean, I'd say hype, for sure. Stamina? Oh. Yeah, true. Maybe stamina. I mean, like, you know. Let's try it. The unicorn seems hypey to me. Unicorn seems unicorn hype? That, or maybe magic? Cause it's a little no. Bit... Oh wait, the unicorn yeah. is definitely magic, right? Yeah, yeah you're probably. right. That'd be my guess. Oh my god. I would say forbidden for condoms. That's me. That's me. Let's I mean, do the it. Chat wants condoms too, so okay. Condoms. I had an iguana once. Hype. Hype up. Whoa, a lot of hype. Oh, we're actually twerked up. I'll just set it oh, up sorry. to my other products look better by comparison. Oh, not my fault. You're a no refunds. Oh, you like that, buddy? There's, there's one, there's I one them. line I put in there that I really hope they use, because there's, I for some of his like reacts, I had to do like a like a surprise, and so I did like a huh? and then I did like a nani, and then I did like a serious one where it was like nani, and I really hope that's one that they like hit in there at some point. Nani. Uh, nani. we have an abandoned village or a secluded village. Um. We can get mined from the village. I, it's, I think that's yeah, first mine. one's mine. Sure, yeah. let's do it. Let's do it. But if we're there, is it still an abandoned village? I, th I think this road trip is giving you... Oh, bye. <laughs> <laughs> bye. Wow, there is nobody here. You've been wandering this village for a bit and haven't met another living soul. What could have happened to all the inhabitants? All their stuff is still here. Hmm. Well, you suppose the first order of business is to investigate what happened, of course. Get some brain juice. <laughs> oh, no. Damn it. What? There's what? there's been a goof that I've been doing 
Yeah, I, there's a dude on Saturday. I think it's uh, Mooney on Saturday Night Live. He keeps adding, like, of course to the end of bits. And so the other day, someone asked me, like, what my favorite anime was. And I said, why hentai, of course. And <laughs> now every time anyone adds of course, it just makes it funnier to me. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> why hentai, Investigate what happened, of course. Yeah, exactly. It just makes it funnier. Uh, okay. And investigate Bible what Black, happened. of course. See? It's funnier. Yeah. The mystery is afoot. You and your friends begin searching the village for clues and run into your friend Joy. Guys, what are you doing here? Whoa, what are you guys doing here? I thought this place was abandoned. Hey, it is. That's why we're investigating what happened. Why don't we compare clues? I found some really compelling raw high earlier before I ate it. No offense, but I'd rather work alone. Whatever took all these villagers could be seriously evil. You guys should leave this to the world-saving professionals. <laughs> uh, come on, we could figure this out together. And I, for one, think everyone realized this village sucks and they moved to Vegas. <laughs> sure, if you guys really want to help me, uh, why don't you try solving the Rubik's Cube I found? It's a very important clue. Uh, definitely. Let's do it. I'll solve it, Joy. I won't let you down. 20 minutes later. 20 minutes later. Later. Well, I, I'm stumped. This would probably be easier if it wasn't colorblind. This is booty. Joy gave us this clue to distract us from the real investigation. She doesn't think we're competent detectives. Let's solve this case before she does. If we find the answer first, Joy will finally see how good and smart we are. Good call, Scott. We'll be a regular Sherlock and Watson. I'm great at reading people's micro-expressions to deduce what they're thinking about. Me, me, me. Oh, oh, do me. What do my micro-expressions say I'm thinking about? Um, milk bones. No, wait, you're thinking about sports. Final answer. Am I right? You're asking me? I, I don't know what I'm thinking about. That's why I needed you to tell me. Doesn't take a detective to see that Polly and Scott are hopeless at the, this on their own. Luckily, you know exactly how to turn them into great investigators. Uh, zoom and enhance. Oh, we have to zoom and enhance. Yeah. The acute perception of Sherlock Holmes, who could analyze a myriad of details just by looking at a crime scene. His secret? Doing lots of cocaine. I mean, I feel like our mind will go up from that, right? But cocaine? what will go... I, I feel like cocaine might hurt our stamina. We're, yeah, Probably we're trying to get or our money, if you think about it. Or our money, yeah, from yeah. doing lots of cocaine. Yeah, potentially. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, what do you think? Yeah, because we're we're trading something to gain the acute perception of Sherlock Holmes, right? You just so that be, definitely you just have Sherlock mind. Holmes involved. I know, I know you. Don't look at me like that. I am, and that's <laughs> what we're doing. A perfect leap in logic. <laughs> you and Polly do coke! It'll give you the hyperactive edge you need to notice all the details you wouldn't normally see. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I'm ready to investigate. I am, like, so ready I can hear my fucking pulse! Wait, I don't even have one. <laughs> that is so funny! Polly, Polly, listen. Polly, look, there's a phone on the ground! Let's check the photos in it! Maybe your superpowered Sherlock brain will see a clue! The last photos on the phone are of a cloudy sky above the village. You see a weird electrical storm brewing in one of the pigs. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck, 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 This is so promising. Oh my god, are my teeth vibrating? That is so weird. <sighs> Wait, forget the dumb photos. Look at this phone. Something is so off about it. You're right. The case is cracked. Maybe that means there was foul play. Oh, <gasps> no. Forget the crack. Look at the ugly color scheme on this case. Mauve? With olive green stripes, gross. I could do so much better. Polly grabs some markers and starts drawing a better phone case. The vibrant colors, the amazing design, the breakdancing stick figure. Polly's a natural. Yes. You're right, I so am. And I should design phone cases professionally. <gasps> I would make us millions in no time, and then we could use those millions to buy more cocaine. <laughs> of course, it's also obvious now. You've been wasting to Wait, did she acknowledge the narrator? You've yeah. been wasting time on the prom or summer camp or road trips when the answer all along was building a phone case empire. Fuck yeah, let's do this. Poon Poon, do you know anything about designing a website or running an online marketplace? Can't be that hard. You excitedly <laughs> Google how to design websit. Uh, ready to build your fortune. Hmm. What is going on over here? I thought you guys left already. Yeah. <laughs> 
You underestimate us, Joy. But we proved you wrong. We weren't totally capable of being millionaire phone case designers. So. What? Woohoo! You definitely cracked the case. The phone case! You lose minus two stamina being coked up and hyper, but you gain plus two mind. Hey! 15 mind? We smirk. Who needs we body when you got mind? Who need body when you got mind? True City that. under attack. What? Rave in the desert. We did the we, rave in the desert last time. We yeah, did. But but we played the we demo. We get stamina, but we also city under attack could be anything. Yeah. City under attack could be anything. Anything. We gotta go. Yeah. I love looking the road. Look my road. Okay, but not while you're driving. Too late. My road. Burning buildings, screaming people, and eardrum shattering roars. Uh, Scott, run! There's no question about it. A kaiju is attacking this city! I'm not sure why you decided to visit a city obviously experiencing a deadly event. But then again, I don't know why I even expect logic from you anymore. Jeez. Surly wow. Warrior. Nevertheless, you need to protect yourself from death against such a giant reptile. What do you do? Fight the kaiju. Evacuate the city. Oh, progress oh. through three stages by picking options tied to the high resource. <gasps> Let's try it. We didn't get yeah, to do something like this last time. we didn't get to do this time. one like this. Accept our fate. Yeah, what's the point of fighting or running? <laughs> the city is being attacked by a giant kaiju. <laughs> Even if you do survive, life around here is going to be bleak as fuck. Cheer up, guys. Embracing the inevitability of death isn't all bad. It's also a great excuse to drink. Come on. I know a nice place. Oh! Holly takes you all to a rooftop bar that's miraculously still standing. You grab some liquor and sit on the balcony to drink and watch the kaiju destroy everything. Hmm. So, how do we embrace our fate? Is it like a tackle hug or more of a gentle caress of the unknown? Hmm. Whichever you want, boo. I found that the final moments of one's life are great for introspection. Like, you know, like reliving your best moments or making connections with strangers. There's also just like screaming incoherently, but that is not as fun. Making connections sounds cool. You look around to see who else is here and you lock eyes with... The <laughs> Kaiju! <laughs> Yeesh. Yeah. Don't look now, Poon Poon. I think that 100 foot tall hottie over there is checking you out. Come on, Jesse. <clears throat> oh, boy. Why, hello there, puny creature. Don't mind me. I'm just taking a breather. Leveling the entire cityscape can be so exhausting, you know? Oops. Silly me. It appears I've dropped my traffic light garnish. Let me just bend down to grab it. I like it. Oh, my Look God. Look at them cheeks. Poon Poon, you better go over there and strike up a conversation before I swoop in and do it for you. Sure. Chat up the giant city-destroying monster. This might as well be happening. What's your opener? Hmm. Mm hmm. Tell the kaiju you understand it's rampant anger. You were in the same bad place until you started practicing mindfulness. That might be so... Uh, mindfulness has got to be mind, right? I kind of oh. like the discuss how you see yourself as a rural soul. Yeah, oh, but, yeah, but maybe we, mindfulness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have yeah. to choose something that's associated with a high stat that we have. Yeah, let's right? do mindfulness because I think you're right. That's probably <clears throat> Yeah. Yeah, oh. time to embrace your inner... Dickwad and extol the virtues of positive messaging, breathing on purpose, and slowly savoring a reason. You do some mindful meditation together. You encourage the kaiju to think of itself as a ripe, unpeeled peach. <clears throat> You're so smart, Poon Poon. I never would have thought sitting motionless for 15 minutes a day would be as satisfying as flattening a city block. Wow, of course the only person left on Earth who isn't sick of the mindfulness craze is a kaiju who's been dormant at the bottom of the ocean for centuries. This is really helping with my ancient directionless bloodlust. Can we do this again sometime? <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Did the kaiju just ask Poon Poon on a meditation date? Now this is hot. Well, no, no. It was an accident. 
The kaiju punches a building to smithereens, blushing furiously. Oh, so shy. The kaiju's crush, get it, is your confidence to keep flirting. A true monster fucker at heart, you gotta see where this goes. How do you flirt with the kaiju to let it know you're interested too? Oh boy. Okay. All right. Drafted Step on me has gotta be plan. stamina, which we do yeah. not have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I feel like it has, it has to be the first one, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has well, that's be. probably yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this one's literally just step on me, so this yeah. isn't this isn't mine. I don't think yeah, we, we have the. We would yeah, die. We would die. Yeah. Hey, Ooh. you actually have been drafting the paperwork for an urbanization plan in your crotch. You've been scribbling them tipsily on a napkin, but still. You submit your paperwork to the city government and actually get a permit. They're probably too busy with the kaiju to give a shit what they approve right now. Oh wow. This is a big, thick permit package. I hope you've got a good, uh, got good disaster insurance, Pun Pun. You've seen what I can do to the city, <laughs> you naughty kid. I know how to make a good neighbor go bad, if you know what I mean. Wow, an ancient magical kaiju floated with you, and it's probably gonna totally shatter your pelvis. <laughs> nice! <laughs> Holy shit. Psst, Pun Pun! I can see that you're trying to bone that kaiju, and I'm trying to work on my reading the room skills and not bother oh. you, but an angry military man has been on the phone uh, for you for 15 minutes, and I've run out of songs to sing to make him think he's on hold. Oh, shit. You take the call. The military man tells you that he's worked with the mayor and the team of scientists to build a mecha capable of defeating the kaiju. <gasps> Since you're the only one who can get close enough to the kaiju, they want you to pilot the mecha to kill it. Oh no! Nice. Wait, we can use this. Take the mech, we'll tell them we're gonna kill it. In reality, you're gonna use the mech to fuck the kaiju. Hmm, not a bad idea. Doesn't a mech need to be powered by at least five people? Best friends ever. Don't worry, Poo Poo, that's what friends are for! Polly and I will pilot the mecha's wings, and we can be your wingman! Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the government's sending some engineering nerds to be the legs anyway, and I bet those guys never get action, so they'll be excited to just, like, be part of it, you know? And you, Pun Pun, you'll pilot the most important part of all. Don't say it. Oh, don't say it. The head. <laughs> no, silly! The <laughs> Robocock! Okay. <laughs> oh. Thanks, God. You're turning our little sexual foray into a fivesome? You really are kinky. I'm in. The mecha arrives. You all take your places, and everyone pledges consent to the situation. Your kaiju mecha sex is clear for takeoff. Well, thank you. you know Thankfully, we got that out of the way. Yeah, I'm. You know, you know I'm glad. We I'm all, glad we like all had, those, a, like, had a good safety conversation. Yeah, yeah, we're like hands in. Who's here? And then we all did that like you know power <laughs> rangers move. Yeah. Who's down to fuck this kaiju? Hands Everyone. in. Kaiju, yeah. are you down to fuck all of these people? <laughs> I feel like, I feel like it's done like a, yeah. like a lunch. I thought it would be done more like a lunch order. Like, you're in, you're in, you're in. You're Okay, we're all, okay, we're good. All right. Ah, uh, can I get some uh, coleslaw with that too? Yeah, yeah, we got well, coleslaw. We got, okay, you're good. We're good. Yeah, all we right, you. cool. Thank you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No worries. The only thing left <laughs> to do is set the right romantic tone. What's your approach? Okay, guys. Uh, I think I said the box. In movies, mech use their surroundings as weapons. You can use a train as anal beads. I hate it here. Destroy the power plant and set some buildings on fire to make perfect sexy. Uh, this Cost, one does that feels like that's money. Yeah, this one has to be yes. the only one it can be. Yeah, because yeah. our money is one of the lower stats. I mean, yeah. like, the only thing we can do right now, I think, Dodger... Is anal Outside beads, the right? Box. Yeah. Is be anal, anal beads, yeah. I think that's right, all we can yeah. do is be anal beads. Okay, great. Okay. <laughs> Let's be anal beads, then. Dodger? Yeah. Do you want to be anal beads? I would love to be anal beads, yeah. All right, that's all I needed for a clip later. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, on the train, commuters are calmly going about their business, then suddenly a huge hand grabs the train and lifts them into the air. People are screaming, children are crying, businessmen are shitting their tailor-made suits. A voice comes over the PA. Attention passengers, due to unforeseen circumstances, the train is now being inserted oh, no. into a kaiju's ass. Expect some turbulence oh, no. and delays. Oh no. We encourage you to stay in your seats and remain calm. Do not open the windows under any circumstances. 
structural damage may occur, depending on how rough the sex is. We expect turbulence to continue until we hear the sound of the creature's climax! Oh my god. <laughs> we know you had many transportation choices and you chose poorly. Thank you for traveling with City Train. No refunds. So concludes the story of how Poon Poon fucked a kaiju. You and your friends drive away to your, uh... Your buddy returns to the ocean, and you gain plus two hype and plus one magic. We didn't get any mind for that. Get any mind. <laughs> I can't believe this. We didn't get all any that. mind. Heartbreaking. Heartbreaking. Oh my god. Well, we, we can, can recover stamina. some stamina. Yeah, we can get stamina at any of these things. So I guess it doesn't matter. Did we go to the animal sanctuary already? Um. No, we went to the petting zoo. We went to the petting zoo. Yeah. Animal sanctuary? Sure. Or was this the same? Was it the same thing? <sighs> what uh -oh. is the fuzz? <gasps> You're driving along when a cop car pulls up and signals for you to pull over. Uh oh. Afternoon, oh kids. <laughs> oh we my see god. We license and vehicle registration. Oh, hey, hey, does anyone else smell pie? <laughs> I don't. Oh, now that you mention it, I, I smell pie too. No, you don't. Your nose is lying to you, Scott. Don't listen to it. I smell pie too. I figured I was just really craving pie, but now that Polly's being weird about it. What? I am not being weird. You are all being weird. I am being perfectly sane and totes normal. Okay. Well, it looks like your paperwork's all in order. We're just going to run your plates real quick, and you kids should be good to go. God damn it. Uh, now we got to figure out what to do with this pie I stole before those <laughs> goons come back. Oh, no. <laughs> you stole a pie? What for? You, you don't even eat. I don't know. I just saw it cooling on some old lady's windowsill, and I grabbed it. I was in, like, a silly, goofy mood. <laughs> A little funny goofy. But now, because Poon Poon was acting all suspicioso, the cops are gonna totally know I stole this pie. We have to hide it before they get back. Just eat it. Well, well at least if you Give help Scott. Polly hide the pie. Scott, eat it. You, you can eat it later. How do you save this stolen pastry? Mm. Money, that's gonna be money related. We don't have enough money for that. So Top hat. Top hat, obviously. Come on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yes, my fancy top hat. Wait, what? What fancy top hat? <laughs> Only the trademark Poon Poon fancy top hat. I knew it would come in handy eventually. Let's do yeah, it. Yeah, I barely remember who you were before you put on that hat. Let's hide the pie under there. All these stashes are stolen pie under your hat, just in time for the cops to come back. So guess what? While we were in the cruiser, we got a call that there's a pie thief on the loose. My partner's gonna need to search your vehicle. You there, remove your hat for a moment so I can see if the contraband pie is under it. You want Pun Pun to take off their fancy top hat? It's like the cornerstone of their whole cool visual identity. So? Uh, you don't understand. Oh my god. Poon Poon was super lame back in school, and putting that fancy top hat on is what turned their whole life around. Not cool. You can't force them to go back to their old boring ways. It's inhumane. Partner, I think they've got a point. I thought Poon Poon was pretty cool with that hat on. Such a bold fashion choice to wear a top hat while driving. In a convertible, of all things. I don't think we should force them to take it off. But... Uh, the pie. I know, but we've gone too far. We swore to protect people no matter what, even if it meant shooting at suspicious characters first and asking questions later. But my wings got eyes on them. I'm biblically accurate anyway. But this, we got to draw the line somewhere. Are we helping people if we make this poor youngster lame again? You're right. I'm sorry, partner. I've been a cop for so long. I guess I've lost some perspective. It's okay, pal. Sorry to bother you, kids. Drive safe. Stay fancy. You have no recollection of ever putting this hat on, yet there it is on your head and everybody else's memories. It's a minus two mind fuck. Damn. <laughs>
But you do not let it bother you too much, especially because you gain plus two stamina eating that stolen pie. Nice. So we, we set up to get mind and it ended up with no mind. In fact, losing to mind. Oh but we hey, get stamina, hype, so it's okay. Our hype is a thing. Yeah. Our hype's welcome, pretty high. Welcome to the animal sanctuary. It even has a petting zoo. There are dogs, cats, ghosts, bunnies, alpacas, ducklings. It warms your heart to see so many animals being loved and cared for. Surrounded by all this wholesomeness and fur, what do you want to do? Hmm. We already went to the cat cafe. Pet the animals. Oh boy. Pet the animals. Oh boy. Pet the, Pet animals. the animals. Pet the animals. You're checking the place out. Booping snoots with all sorts of cute critters when you run into a familiar witch. Hello there. What brings you all to the petting zoo and animal sanctuary? Oh, we want to pet the cute animals! This place is so cool! I agree. I love volunteering here. It's a great place to meet some animals and maybe even adopt a critter in need. Feel free to pet all the animals you like. We've got puppies, kitties, duckies, alpaca -ies. Hey! What about these geese? They look cute! No, I don't recommend that. Never trust a goose. Amen. Faith goes back to working her shift, and you get to work petting some animals. You go to the bunny pen to stroke the rabbit's soft ears. One rabbit puts its nose in your pocket. Aww. Then it grabs your car keys with its mouth and runs <laughs> off. Aww. You chase the rabbit around the pen. You can't catch it, but you're attracting attention. Kids are pointing at you and crying. Stop trying to steal the poor bunny's car keys. <laughs> But those are our car keys! The rabbit stole them from us first! That's exactly what someone trying to steal a rabbit's keys would say. Great. Even if we get the keys back, we'll be found guilty in the court of public opinion. Uh, Pun Pun, what do we do? Uh... Hmm. Oh my god! <laughs> Off of the bunny, your 90s comic about a very sexy rabbit who's a basketball, basketball player, player playing against evil aliens. <laughs> That's good. Gain your car keys by challenging the rabbit to a car right now. The top one's funnier. <laughs> I mean, we have to, yeah. obviously. Yeah, we have to. Yeah. Slowly, you all drop down and hold your comic book out to the rabbit. It takes a few tentative hops forward and snips the comic. You like my comic? It's a classic story of aliens wanting to turn the world into a theme park, but the rabbit protag defeats them in a game of high stakes basketball. This is the 90s version, so the rabbits are way more sexualized. You know, back then being a furry wasn't so widely ridiculed. I would say it's less ridiculed now than it was back then. Look, the surrounding <laughs> kids are laughing and taking photos of you. Doesn't mean we won't ridicule you now, they cackle. Great. <sighs> Why are you explaining all this to a rabbit, Poon Poon? One, it can't understand you, and two, it can't read anyway. Uh... Ollie's proven wrong when the rabbit takes her comic in its teeth and starts returning the pages. It ends up on a sexy centerfold panel of the protagonist rabbit wearing her oddly revealing basketball uniform. The rabbit's eyes go wide. It drops your keys and drags the comic off to the bathroom to do something you don't even want to imagine a rabbit doing ever again. Touchdown! Uh... Woohoo! You did it, Poon Poon! Kinky. Well, I'll be damned. There was a reason to over-sexualize rabbits after all. Uh, yeah, they were right. You leave, losing minus oh my two God. for giving God your fucking your damn comment. it. We're gaining plus two soul for bartering nicely with the bunny. We have truly failed. You're so cursed, dude. There's a ranch or Hollywood, baby. We can get hype at Hollywood. Let's go. Let's get hype. Hollywood. 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 If I drink gas, would I become a car? Why do you want to be a car anyway? Because uh, it goes vroom vroom and it's fast. Oh my god, that's so true. So true, Umfi. Everyone at some point wonders what it's like to be a movie star. And... You still don't know what that's like. You're just a humble road tripping tripper passing on a movie set. But this might be the closest you ever get to Hollywood, so make the most of it now. What do you do? Get an autograph! Get an autograph! I... I... You heard that Cool Josh, the famous <gasps> Cool Josh is here? Cool Josh. Oh my, oh my god. god. Cool Josh. Uh, cool Josh is everywhere these days. I'm kind of over it. The <gasps> famous actor, singer, songwriter, esports champion, skateboarding prodigy, and top 10 chess grandmaster is filming on this set. You and your friends obviously need to get his autograph. You sneak onto the set to find his trailer next to some bushes. 
over here. Huh? Uh, can anyone else hear that bush talking? Oh, oh this guy. Oh my god. I I'm no bush, you're just fallen prey to my clever disguise, as the youth say. Get wrecked! Hey! Hey, Counselor Fludge! I didn't know you worked here. I don't! There's actually a warrant <laughs> out for my arrest for breaking and entering under this set. The cops are no match for my costume kit. Nice! Oh, nice! Well, we snuck on set because we heard cool Josh was filming here, and I'm gonna get him to sign my bra. Good luck with that, kiddo. I've been trying to show cool Josh my screenplay all week. It's an autobiographical documentary called Hidden in Plain Sight. Cool Josh is the only actor who can capture my own screen. Oh my god, can we pause for a second to appreciate this reference in chat? Someone said, I bet he's only a chess master because of his anal beads. <laughs> it's very good. Nice. Yeah. Nice. It's very good. Yeah. Okay, uh, anyways, continue. <laughs> topical. Maybe if you very can topical. Cool Josh out yeah. of his trailer, we'll get the project off the ground. Well, you do have vested interest in meeting Cool Josh. Find a way to get him out of his trailer. Hmm. Uh, about getting yourself inside the actor? Inside his head, you perv. Talk to him intensely. Lure him out with an Academy Award. What does the intense talking lose us? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe, oh, maybe stamina? Because we're. Because either way, we get hype, it. right? Oh, maybe? I would imagine it's either stamina or mind. Maybe. Academy Award might lose us money. That's so maybe we should thinking. do the top one. Yeah, okay, let's, try let's it. find. You knock on the door of Cool Josh's trailer. He yells from inside. Oh, whoa. <laughs> I want to hear Dodger's Cool Josh voice. Uh, cool yeah. Josh voice. It's hard because my my initial is basically just going to be Boy Polly. <laughs> oh, go for it. Mm. Is that you again, Cameron? Go away! <laughs> yes! Yes! Actually, it's Polly Geis from one fan favorite to another. I think we should hang out. So, like, what do you say? You want to come out and meet us? I love how she introduces herself as fan favorite. Yeah, no, I'm staying right here inside my trailer, brah. Gotta take the 405 to the one ten. Yeah. No, I, you know. Yeah. You say you're inside the trailer, but have you ever thought that maybe you're actually already outside? We're the ones that are inside. No. Mm -hmm. Okay, but like, would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> oh, you're like super persistent. Look, I really can't come out, okay? And I don't explain why, because it's embarrassing. Um, come on, bro. You can talk to us. We're just like you, only not rich and famous. D what's holding you back? I can't go out because. I don't know how to open the trailer door. There, I said it. Oh, my God. Now that you know the truth, can you, like, let me out? Because I've had to shit for, like, an hour. Polly opens the door, and you bask in the glorious presence of Cool Josh himself. Whoa, he's oh cool. Uh, cool Josh. Thanks. Now, what's this about a signed bra? You, your friends, and Cool Josh... I'll get croissants together. You lose minus two mind, talking in circles, but you get your autographs, which is pure plus two hype. Great. Great. Fuck mind. mind. Let's trade. 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 We can get trade, more hype. Trade. Be lovely. Hello, welcome back. Let's face it. This road trip is. Hey, what the fuck? I was talking, dude. What? Too late. You lose. Oh man. We can get rid of. Um, what did the fruit fruit condoms weren't hype, right? No, it was something else. You can get rid of the fruit condoms. It was hype. Was it hype? The condoms were hype, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, but that's what's ruining my heart. I think how to road trip is going to be mind. If we're sacrificing mind, if I can remember correctly, uh, the tattoo was bold, which I think is probably going to be hype. So I would trade the, the how to road trip for the tattoo. You heard the man. Also, Do it. This is, Donks. How Donks. dare they? How dare All right. Donks. Hype. No refunds. I Hype knew up. it. Oh, yeah, yeah, baby. Well Octo, done. good call. Good choice. Run know how I got that done because it's pretty funny. Rudolph proceeds to tell you the most fucked up soul withering anecdote you've ever heard. And none of the children survived. Anyway, enjoy your purchase. 
We're close. We got, we got this. We got this. We got this. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say that. We got this. We're doing better than Don't we did before. We got that. this. Oh Dukes, God. I believe in the dream. I'm on my way. <sighs> I'm on my way. Battle Royale or Gothic Manor? Battle Royale. Battle Royale. Look at, look at the hype. We're getting there. Let's hope nothing weird happens. Oh, God son of a shit. Damn it. <laughs> son of a shit. Hey, you just reached a high amount of hype. Good for you. Does that mean you're aiming for the hype-based destination? Yes. If so, there's a weapon okay, that you yes. unlock. Let's yes. go. Yes. yes. All right. Great. Yes. The adventure will be waiting for you on the road. Okay, bye. Great, right, bye. We'll see. We'll see about that. Welcome oh. to the Battle Royale. There are only two rules. Kill or be killed! Stopping to visit the place where everyone's murdering each other is sort of a questionable decision on your part. It's too late to leave now, so how will you survive? Berserk! Go go berserk! Go Berserk! This is probably Soul, That's right? right? You, you, didn't come soul. Here to, you didn't come here to play. You're here to make the bloodbath your bitch! Are you sure about this, Poon Poon? We won't lose lots of soul by killing innocent people? Are they really innocent if they're trying to kill us first, though? And besides, we signed those waivers at the entrance protecting our soul from being lost in wanted murder. Let's do it. Oh, okay. I'm fine with killing people as long as we can do it with healthy conscience. You enter a fugue state, slaughtering foods <laughs> with guns and knives and bare hands and anything else your twisted heart desires. But no matter how many people you kill, every time you look at the death toll leaderboard, there's a name consistently ahead of you. Hey, Poon Poon. Hey. Look at you, holding on to second place like it's your mother's skirt. I'm almost impressed. But if you came here thinking you could defeat Diaquino, buff blue warmongerist extraordinaire, you've got another thing coming. Go team! You can beat her, Poon Poon! Use your underdog candidate powers to win at the last minute. Sorry, boo. No offense, Poon Poon, but I'm betting my money on Dahlia here. I saw her smash a watermelon with a headbutt once, and I don't think there's an ass she can't kick. Oh, it's bad. I forgot about it's badness. badness. Yeah, old badness. Oh well, what are you guys, what are you idiots doing? Are you seriously turning this soulless murder fest into a game? Can't you see? This whole battle royale, it's a ploy by our corrupt government to turn violence into entertainment so that we won't notice all the atrocities that they commit. I think, I think that's voiced by the one and only Juicy Flanagan, isn't it? If that's true, then it's working. I am massively entertained. Batness probably has a point, but if you don't start catching, if you start <laughs> catching morals now, you'll never outmurder Dahlia. Man, I catch morals all the time. It's unfortunate. No, same. God. No. Ugh. The thing is, Holly's right. You'll never defeat Dahlia in sheer body count. But if she's focusing on quantity, maybe you can defeat her by going for a quality kill. Do what the cool kids do these days. After murdering someone in cold blood, perform a silly internet dance. It's proven to be the perfect pairing. Kill them forever. Before murdering them, harvest their souls and hoard them all together in a single raccoon. Wait, but... Raccoon? Vicious. They said that we won't lose soul. Neither of these are soul, right? right so right. <laughs> so what can they possibly well, be? Internet dance like might be it. stamina, maybe? Oh, maybe. Mm. Kill, oh, harvest their souls. That might be magic. Or... Yeah, let's try it. That, maybe, that, maybe that's magic? Yeah, but I do. But for for the meme, I do want to kill them and then hit the gritty. <laughs> <laughs> do it. I mean, do right. the top bam, one. Bam, do, bam, it. Bam, do it. Bam, do bam, it. Bam. Do it. Cut to two survivors of the battle royale. They're huddled together behind a large rock. We have to think, Curtis. The girl says we made it this far, and for that, I'm grateful. I can't imagine living without you. I know. I love you, Carol. I'm not leaving here without you, says Curtis. We have a chance of escaping alive if we can make it to the river and. Curtis is cut off by a sniper bullet, cleaving his skull in two. Carol screams and holds him in her arms, devastated. Why, cruel universe, she sobs. What did he do to deserve this? All our plans, our dreams, the apartment we just signed the lease for, all gone. I cursed the day I thought this battle royale would be a fun weekend activity. Then something bursts out of the bushes. It's you, <laughs> Poon Poon, wielding a knife. Just do it, you bastard, Carol screams. Stab my guts out, I don't care. You do stab her guts out. She lays bleeding on the grass. You start teabagging her. 
<laughs> yes, bitch. Shake your booty over that woman dying in excruciating pain. Hey, oh. What are you doing, Carol Sob? Stop teabagging me. This is the worst. I can't even focus on my life flashing before my eyes because I'm enthralled by a butt jiggling in my face. Too bad. You dance like your life depends on it, and in this circumstance, it kind of does. You lose minus two stamina from how hard you're shaking your hips. I can't see the light. I can see the light! The reflection off your bouncing cheeks, Carol sighs. With this final image of your butt, I go to the great beyond! Hot damn, Poon Poon. You made the end of that person's life way more painful and disrespectful than if you just killed her. And you killed her! Mad respect. I know when I'm beat. Here, take the spoils of our battle. Plus two hype for you. Nice. Oh my god, we're at 19. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Let's fucking go. Business Summit. Oh, they're both money. Um, wait. Well, at least we this lose? one we can see what we lose. Like, this one is soul. Go yeah, to the one, yeah, yeah, go to the one and just and guarantee the loss of soul. That way, because we've got so much soul. Yeah. That's true. Doesn't matter. What? Uh-oh. God damn it, god damn it, god Drive damn it. Suzanne Suzanne with uh, whiskey, wiping grease off their arms outside an old comic Well, well, oh, well. Hey, bro. hey, bros, what are you up to? Uh, we're working on a bumper car to the animal. Oh, wait, we already did this one. Yeah, all right, so I think we can, like, so we can zoom through this. Spam it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah the question's yeah, yeah, yeah. going to be, do we do eels or do we do baby? What did we lose well, from eels What happened with time? eels? What was eels? Soul. Eels? We lost soul? Yeah, I think eels? so. Oh, well, we can lose soul again. Eels was soul. Yeah. What did we gain, though? I think it was hype. F it. Let's go. Let's yeah, go happens. eels. Eels, eels. All right, we've seen eels before. They're going to toss eels. Eels is good. Hell yeah. Do we get hype? Yo! Yes, we do. This is the, do. This is the run. Shit. This is the run. Go. Is fortune telling real, or is it all bogus? Only one way to find out. Uh. The psychic who runs this caravan has a sign posted outside the different services she offers. There are many different ways to glimpse the future. Which one do you want to do? Palm reading, tarot reading. Uh, we could stand to lose money we or can, soul, honestly. Yeah, we could either lose one. either and still be okay. Let's do soul because so. it's we have one more. Yeah. You've always liked birthday. You've always liked birthday cards and playing cards. Why not test your luck with fortune telling cards too? Not it. Welcome to Hope Halco's Tent of the Great Beyond. <laughs> if you want your cards read, take a seat and shuffle the tarot deck. Pun Pun, we'll start with you. We'll do three cards spread, where the card represents your past, present, and future. Your past card is The Hanged Man. It's a card depicting a tragic fool. It represents your journey so far. A series of misadventures where you tend to make the wrong choices. Yikes. But Tragic Fool could totally be your middle name, to be fair. Your present card is The Justice. This card represents an unusually high and in enterprising libido and a colorful sex life. Nice. nice. Clap them cheeks, Poon Poon. This guy fucked the kaiju. Finished. Yeah, he did. <laughs> and teabagged the dead girl. <laughs> you didn't let me finish. It represents that in the upright position, but it was drawn upside down, which inverts its meaning. It means Poon Poon doesn't fuck, like, at all. The kaiju doesn't count. Well, sheesh, it's not your fault you haven't gotten any ass lately. You aren't playing a dating sim this time. Untrue. Yeah, true. Pun pun. Hope's tarot cards are kind of reading you to filth. Uh, why don't you try making your own destiny? <laughs> I have better cards in my pocket, so don't ask. Swap out the future card with one of these. It seems... Me it seems mean to rig Hope's tarot reading, but hey, if she's really is a psychic, she should have seen the switcheroo coming. Pick a card. Any card. Let's see if we can find a hype card. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, my dragon! <laughs> my dragon. <laughs> uh, the random wait, the random dude with very cool sunglasses probably gives us hype though. That's true. Admittedly, yeah. As a much plus as four I tarot you, I card. Aren't we we're getting hype anyway though, right? No, we're losing no. soul. We don't know. We're losing we soul, right? Mm -hmm. Oh my god! Definitely yeah, yeah. random dude with cool sunglasses. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> okay, I just love this. All right. I love blue eyes, white dragon. Don't get me wrong. Now for your future, we have the random dude with very cool sunglasses. This is strange. Arcana predicts a big celebration in your future, filled with laughter and a zest for life. 
But with great partying also comes great hardships, Poon Poon. Oh, Poon Poon will face a period of ups and downs where anything can happen. Party time! We're prepared for anything. Check out my emergency party kit. Up drugs, down drugs, water for hydration, alcohol for dehydration, baby wipes for shitting behind a bush. Just then, you get a phone call from an unknown number. It must be fate. Fuck yeah. Here oh comes the God. plus two hypes. Bring on the party! We're so close. Hello, Poon Poon, says the caller. Shit, it's not fate. It's your mom! She probably wants to oh, let no. you know. Incoming minus two hype! What the fuck? Sorry to bug you on your road trip, honey, but there's a party coming up that I need you to attend. Plus two hype again. Yes, party! Bring out the up Yeah! The party. Let's go! It's your little cousin's fifth birthday party. It'll be at Chuckles Cheeseria next Friday. Can you go? Oh, that's less yay. Time for down drugs and minus two hype. Damn it. Don't worry, it'll be fun. Your aunt's hiring a clown to make balloon animals. Balloon animals? <laughs> Super yay! I love balloon animals. They don't die when you forget to feed them. That's plus two hype for me. Well, it's like Hope's prophecy came true. It did. And now your future is filled with joy and balloon animals. You still lose minus two soul for rigging Hope's reading. It doesn't help either that you don't have your mom's phone number saved. Ouch. Ouch. Biker right. bar. Oh my god, Biker. Biker, Biker bar. Motel. Biker bar, we can get the plus two hype we need. If we get this plus two hype, I'm pretty Holy sure the shit. next round is we meet at the campground. And then after that, I think we auto win. Nice. If oh my we god. have 25 hype. Breaking bottles, clinking shot glasses, revving motors, the crash of a window some dude just got thrown out of. Such as the dulcet melodies of the bona fide Biker bar. I love these ringing out of a crazy straw. No, so cute. This is your chance to embrace your inner badass. What do you do? Hype. Start hype. a brawl, hype. baby! Hype. 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 As long as we don't lose five stamina, we still are good. One of them wins, the other breaks the stool over his head, and they tackle each other to the ground. Yes! Yes! Fight, fight, fight! You watch the two balls of muscle roll around on the floor. <sighs> Must we always resort to violence? I mean, you actually do resort to violence a lot, but you're not feeling it today. You're more of a holier-than-thou pacifist mood right now. Instead of throwing punches, you decide to put your super cool badass face on. It's more than enough to convince people not to mess with you. Huh? Poon Poon, what's up with your face? Are you in pain? Are you trying to hold in a fart? No. Yeah, that face. That fighting face. Poon Poon wants to throw down. <laughs> Hey, everyone, Poon Poon wants to fight. Yay, a fight! It's like sports without boundaries. Can I be your cheerleader, Poon Poon? Score! Give me a B. I K E R. Poon Poon's gonna break your arms. Uh, hey, remember how you decided violence wasn't the answer? <laughs> well, it turns out peer pressure is always the answer. So you're fighting someone. There's got to be at least one person in this bar whose ass you could kick. Who do you challenge? <laughs> oh my god. They're Very both Bob. good. Very Bob the buff-ass magician. That's going to be magic down. Nick Nekakez, sure. your worst nightmare. He's made of nightmares, too. He could, he could fuck with our mind, maybe. Maybe. I mean, Plus, I'm down for... Like, either way, we'll be fine, right? So... Yeah, Who seems I... more fun to fight? Buff wizard. Okay. Buff wizard. You open the fight by inviting Barry Bob to pick a card from your deck. Barry draws the ace of clubs. You shuffle it back in. Now, is this your card? You punch him in the face. You swing a wooden club in Barry's <laughs> Holy face. Holy shit. Yeah. Barry opens his sleeve and releases a beautiful white dove to take the hit instead. <gasps> no! He, then he casts Slap a Kazam, a spell that allows him to slap you in the face with his wand. Ow! You cast a spell, expending minus two magic, and reach in your pocket and pull out a hanky, which is tied to another hanky, and another, and another. Until you have a hanky rope long enough to tie Barry up! And now, with the help of my lovely assistants, we will make you disappear. Wait, you, you can have teams in this fight? I thought it was a one versus one thing. <laughs> Forget that shit. We're in magic fight territory, baby. There are no rules! Uh... Your friends help you roll Barry Bob out of the door. He lays a curse on all your future children as he bounces down the road. Everyone laughed at you for learning sleight of hand magic until you proved you could use it for violence. You gain plus two hype. Ooh, yo! Oh my god. Oh my We've god. Fucking done. You just click something. Uh, he gives a uh, shit. 
Casino. More we'll hype. To, we gotta go to the. But we don't need more anything, hype. Do All right, Casino. More the hype. Don't know anything here. <laughs> oh, true, true, true. And if we lose hype, then we miss out on from from our choice. Then we. Yeah, we miss out. We chose hype. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We gotta go. Let's go to the action movies. I liked everyone's leather jackets. Can we get matching jackets, bros? Sure, Scott. Whatever I would you love want. matching jackets. Sure, Scott. This is a Except city ravaged by heists, villains, government corruption, and tough guys doing anything to rescue their daughters. A city like this needs a hero, someone brave, bold, and badass, preferably with a gun and some Bro, this abs. chick gets around. She really does. You're definitely not the hero this city needs or deserves, but you're here now, so fuck it! What do you want to do in this 90s style action fest? Explosions. Get hype. Explosions. Explosions. You're exploring a bit. Uh, dodging bullets in random shootouts and trying not to get run over by hijacked police cars when you find your friend Dahlia. Whoa, what are you guys doing here? I haven't seen all the bombs and car chases going on. This city is really unsafe. Daddy. Hey Dahlia, this place doesn't look dangerous. It seems fun. What are you doing here? Well, I stopped here to ask for directions, but then through a series of increasingly unlikely action-packed events, I became the hero this city deserves. Last week, I dismantled a local terrorist organization and beat up a sniper who was going to shoot the president while he took a bath. Yesterday, I saved a little girl who was stuck inside a demolishing skyscraper. Today, I'm scheduled to defeat a terrorist who's going to detonate a bomb at the airport, but I'm kind of in a pickle right now. I was going to take this bus to the airport, but my bus got a bomb planted in its engine that'll detonate if the bus drops below 50 miles per hour, so they couldn't pick me up. Oh, I got it. We can take you to the airport. We got a car, and I want to go on an action adventure, too. Scott, I love you, but I just don't know if you guys are cut out for the 90s action movie protagonist lifestyle. No way. I can totally be grizzled, thick-skinned action hero. There must be some way to prove it to you. Mm, there is one way. There's one thing a true action movie star never does. Look at an explosion. Looking at explosions is only for secondary characters who are there to look shocked or sad and make the protagonist seem more badass by comparison. So here's the deal. If you can go an hour without looking at an explosion and also refrain from dying in a shootout or a car chase, you can hang with me, deal? This is mind for sure, right? We'll lose mind from this. I guess we'll, uh, we'll have deal. to make a choice. Deal, but not looking at an explosion is going to be hard. How do you keep your eyes off those fiery infernos so Dahlia will take you seriously? Problem is explosions are too eye-catching. No more so than super fun magic book, eye book? Order one, spend the rest of the day <laughs> so basically blowing your mind looking at 3D pictures. Don't let an explosion catch your attention. Go for the kill, leave the explosion on red. Damn. Harsh. Do we ghost the explosion? That's probably ghost the explosions. Okay. Do it. You follow Dolly around the city while she busts up gunfights, parkours through laser security systems, and blows shit up. Explosions are happening, but you're totally unfazed. To a worrying degree, I might add. People are dying, Poon Poon. <laughs> you don't care. You don't even check your phone as it vibrates constantly. <gasps> don't you hear your phone going off, Poon Poon? Someone's texting you. So what? I'm too cool to take calls. I respect your commitment to the bit. I have got to know who's trying to get a hold of you. Give me your phone. <sighs> Whoa, it's the explosion hitting Poon Poon up. Man, that is one needy atom bomb. Hey, cutie, you up. I think we'd be hot together. You light a fuse in my pants, BB. Wow, you're just ignoring me, huh? Did you not like my puns? I can change? Ugh. Fine, ignore me then. Whore, you're a whore. Wow. Okay, I didn't mean it. You're not a whore. I'm going through some stuff right now. <sighs> I'm sorry, you're not a whore. You're a beautiful angel. Please love me. I'm so alone. You're not gonna text it back, Poon Poon. And uh, not even to reject it? Yo, you take your phone, unlock it, and look at the text, and then leave the explosion on red. That'll certainly send a message. <laughs> wow. You ignored that explosion like it was nothing. You're one bad motherfucker. You rock. 
And an emotionally healthy motherfucker, because that explosion would have burned you psychologically and literally. I love your self-respect. You slide on a pair of sunglasses and walk away from that bad relationship in slow motion with a sick guitar riff in the background. Dahlia lets you guys tag along with her to the airport, and you gain plus two hype in this for saving the city, but you lose minus two soul for ghosting the explosion. Oh, good. That's fine. Okay. I think I think we I think yes. we did it. Yes. I think we did it. Let's, I think we did let's it. Let's go. Let's <laughs> go. Let's go. Uh, let's go here just to chill. Risky Flushes. always. Risky. Risky bisky. Hype oh up. God. Wait, there's something else. Woo! Knife land. Oh my God. We didn't get Bond these. with someone who's all about danger and knives. We didn't get these, but we did get there to knife land. Let's go. Okay. Knife land! Oh. Yeah. Yay! Yeah. It looks so dangerous. Knife land! What do we got? The road trip. Knife land, the land of fun and knives. <laughs> Sound effect. Dick smasher. <laughs> Mickey, it's Mickey's Dick Smasher reference. This one, it's people on the guillotine while there are people down here in the guillotine. Love it. Oh this my god. I like great. that. Wait, look at the one dude coming out of the volcano. He's just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> are you I feel like he's going into it. I don't know. Oh, I thought he was like getting shot out of it. I like the blender. That's a fun ride. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. You're all you ride all the rides. Twice. They're awesome and deadly in equal parts. There's murder mansion with actual murder. There's not one but two free falls. There's the pit full of spikes, the guillotine free fall, which lets you keep severed heads as a silly memento. There's also the blender, the pendulum, and the volcano. You're still unsure if the volcano was supposed to be a ride, or if it was just a random volcano that happens to be there. So much fun, and you even managed to survive, which is a big plus. Knife land forever! And that wasn't all. <gasps> what? You get ready to enter Knife Land and see your friends laughing in excitement. Look at Polly and Scott, always full of excitement and joy. Sure, they're reckless chaotic and may or may not have cursed the end of the world more than once. But they have this overwhelming positive energy that's so easy to like. Over the course of this trip, you've gotten to know them better and see them smile at every challenge life throws at them. Maybe you can do that for a change, too. You could stop always taking everything so seriously and just laugh when things go wrong, and life will just continue. This is why, uh, this way, you're in on the big incomprehensible joke that life is. A twisted funny thing that should bring us all a bit more joy, a bit more laughter. Oh! We did it! We made it to Knife Land! We did a oh thing! My God. I'm so and proud of us! Me oh, too. Look at us. Ah. <sighs> yeah. And, and, and oh, there's we more. get actual, yeah. And just like that, the road trip came to an end. It was full to the brim with danger, fun, and utter nonsense. It was everything we could expect, have, could have expected from a trip with Polly and Scott, and then some. We not only survived the whole thing, but we conquered it and came out different people. It all turned out to be a pilgrimage into self-discovery, a rite of passage, a quest for growth. That is to say, a fucking good road trip. When we were heading back home, I thought about how all of this was just one of the first stops. In a much bigger journey that was only just the beginning. And actual animated credits get out of town. What <gasps> the fuck? Oh. Oh. This is so cute. cute. We were young and unafraid, and we were ready to start. This little bit here is oh. so cute. Oh, Cute. That poor little boy just wants love. I know. Hey! We get a song at the end too? Yeah. What? Hey, I know all these people. Look at these. Look at these cutie Aww. pies. Huh? This Whoa. is so cute. I know that guy. Oh, who's that guy? That producer? I know that guy. These are, well, what? These, this is so good. <laughs> yeah, this looks amazing. Yeah, this looks so, oh my God, Polly. Oh. All 
the amazing artists coming yes, in all strong. the incredible artists. I know these so people. Cute. I know that guy. Oh hey, my gosh, me. look at that guy. I know them. I know them too. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, I know that. Oh, I know them. Oh, and Casey's wait, wait for it. Okay. Wait for it. I know them too. They're amazing, but wait for it. All by yourself. Oh, oh, boop, 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 oh she got her own thing. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Okay. Cute. Yeah, oh, oh, it's get too bad there's no dating in this game. Um, no comment. It's too bad. Yeah, it's too bad there's no dating. No if comment. No dating in this game. Yeah, I guess you have to try one of the other modes. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, look at all the ooh. This is so cute. I didn't expect it to go on this long, but it's it's these just cute after cute. Are, this is insanely well done. Oh my god, fucking This is so good. This is so cute. What the fuck? Oh, I love that I love that confused odds on my link behind my uh Twitter profile picture. <laughs> Aw. These are so good. What the hell? Look at us. And now the part where you all go to Steam or GOG and leave a review. Leave a good review. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> World. <laughs> These are, I'm assuming, all other interesting endings you can get. There's all sorts of stuff. No comment. Zero comment. There, we haven't. We didn't even go to the cosplay convention. We didn't even find. I know. That. I want to go to the cosplay convention with Zoe. I'm so upset because there is a um. What a Monster Prom Four! What Monster Prom what? Four? What? That's a uh, that's Monster Resort, right, or whatever it is. The, the uh, if everything is according to plan, it should be the other game we promised, which is like, again, a totally fight, different right? style of game. Yeah. It's the it's the winter the winter chalet one. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. I remember that from the Kickstarter. Yeah, so that should be very interesting to see how that turns out. Yeah, this is like let's make something besides oh, the original. Cute. Yeah, um, I will say that there is a. Th I mentioned this to Octo, but there's one where mm -hmm. you go to like a, like a like a tech bro summit or something. Mm -hmm. And when you're and it's like there, a metaverse thing, right? Yeah, yeah, and and like one of the options is you discover that the metaverse exists and you go in the metaverse. And I, since obviously we don't have time to play and find that, it is one of the best visual gags because like they go to the metaverse, but it's more like into the Spider Verse, where the avatars of every character there's like 15 different versions. Oh I'll say God. one of them's claymation. I'll let I'll leave it at that. Oh shit! Oh it is. Um, it's so good. There's so many different versions of all the characters. It is incredible. The, the so I I remember a long time ago. I got I just to sing this game's praises, and I'm completely impartial, of course. Um, is a long time ago. I remember somebody I was listening to on a podcast said that it's really hard for a game to actually legitimately make them laugh out loud. Um. This game consistently does that for me. This game consistently makes me laugh like pretty hard. So I'm, I'm, and they keep making, they keep coming up with new stuff. So I'm consistently laughing really hard at like yes. everything we encounter in this game. Yes, it is. Uh, you know, the the writing team and the artists in this game are brilliant. Uh, yeah, they get all all the credit. So just as always. Mm -hmm. Super thrilled to even be remotely involved. And I'm glad that I could uh, wrangle the two of you to be involved with it as well. Yes, thanks for having us. Yeah, I just want to remind everyone that uh, uh, Octo's role in this game came from the fact that he was a great narrator. <laughs> from when we did <laughs> these videos. And that. we were like, this yeah. man should be a character. And now you yeah. are, I'm going to say it, too many characters. <laughs> now you, we got to take some away. No, you're too fine. many characters. Yeah, we need to just mm -hmm. remove you permanently. And have you replaced by Dodger as you. That's fine. Yeah. yeah Dodger can be me. Yeah. Yep. Sorry, I'm, I apologize in advance. You know what? Yeah, you should. You should yeah, apologize. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I think our beloved Dukes has to go. Because okay, that's got fine. stuff to do. But hey, Octo, Dodger, thank you for yeah. playing with me. Thank you for hanging out. Yeah. Thanks for having us.